ड्रिंक <laughs> Second, you can understand that so what is sweet water, what is salty water. Absolute taste. The water is everywhere, but not a single drop. Okay. Even in Bhutan, in other places, after doing the entire thing, you have obtained so much of the culture juices and get the work done. That is also the you know amount of suspense. We there for working for the organization of working for the yeah you know central. Good evening. You have been here in the community. Just call me up at ten fifteen and says I'm ready. That happened with yesterday's officer. You see. Shining at low. My Lord, a, a small mentioning is there. Uh, Mention for inclusion, upgradation. Upgrade, on, upgradation. One, once a week. Yesterday, we have got as many as fifty requests. Fifty requests. So we have uh, picked up a couple of uh, matters. So give us some time. So there's no point collecting all the papers. Huh? Uh, I'm mentioning you. slips. Thank you. So what we are we are discussing. So I am told that uh, earlier uh, practice was uh, weekly once mentioning will be entertained. Only on Monday. Ah, um, only on Monday. Huh? Okay. Please. Thank, uh, thank please. you. Thank you, Lordship. This matter was made returnable on third of April, okay. but yesterday it was not included in the list. Lordship, it's for you. Please give the number. Yes. Sir. If a date has been given, we'll learn this. May I? Yes. Yeah, pray for the next team. That is from your lawsuit. Yes. Order was passed yesterday at about four thirty. Let me certify. For the learned trial, the directed three ninety candidates to be allowed to be admitted in the appear in a first semester examinations. No, could not admitted in within the time thirty November. But our examination. Will be appeal. Yes. For the leave, maybe can't take to file. Leave. Yes. Tomorrow we list. Yes. If it is an order, tomorrow it will come. If the, there should not today be, is the examination date. That's the difficulty. Nothing can be done. You file it today. Yes. It will come tomorrow. One day exam, let them sit. Nothing. But the only difficulty we cannot make a zarath copy. That will be question will be late. That's the difficulty. What? Three ninety candidates has to be allowed to be appear in the examination. Questions are limited. Question papers. And what are the one seventy five colleges all about? Granting you leave to file tomorrow. It will okay. come. Okay. Miller, yes. okay. Miller, yes, under compelling circumstances, Miller, I am praying for leave, Miller. This is a contempt application in connection with the order passed by the Honorable Chief Justice 
Millard uh, in a public interest litigation directing CBI inquiry with regard to Saheb Ganj case. Millard. 28th, this order was passed by the Honorable Division Bench directing to CBI to take investigation forthwith and the concerned respondent authority state to give the FIR and other documents. Millard. Since 28th, Millard, we have but been they, asked... From the newspaper, I read that they have filed an appeal before the... Millard, they may Supreme file an appeal. In and the very same mentioning which the Deputy Solicitor is mentioning, I think it was mentioned before just... My Lord, I had, I had mentioned it on the 30th, Millard, myself, Millard. My Lords, at that, as my Lord then goes, Millard, asked me to prefer an application. Because without an application, before your Lordship, yes, Millard, then we'll grant so, Millard, we have already preferred that as a condemn, my Lord will grant us leave, Millard, so that it can be listed in any part of the day. We will file it in the, in the meantime and serve copies, Millard. Yes, leave can be granted. You please serve copies. Uh, my Lord, then with the leave, if my Lord, I file, my Lord, then it will appear before your Lordships tomorrow. Otherwise, my lord, this contempt application will not be listed automatically. We will decide when it will. My, my lord, I, 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 my lord will not take me amiss, my lord. I render unqualified apology, but my lord, there's some urgency. You, decide, you please, we are granting leave. We will my lord, list it. My lord, I am indebted. Yes, because but, we need to constitute a division. My lord, I, I, I bow down. So that is what I, but my lord, I am remediless. I have to come before my lord, my lord no. being the acting chief. Yes. See, within a day or two, nothing will happen. Huh? My lord, I shall. I shall. Lordship, my lord, I pray for leave to file an appeal without certified copy of date, the order. Date of the twenty second March order was passed. Very and mine is on twenty third of March. Leave granted. My lord, twenty seven. Leave granted. Leave granted. Leave granted. Form kila. My lord, mentioning for inclusion in the list. Monday. Monday. Every Monday. Hmm? Yes, please call. Yesterday, my lord, I beg your lordship to kindly to mention a very short matter. But yesterday, your lordship had been pleased to take up the item number one, that violence. But, uh, at late night yesterday, from 10 o'clock, not the entire train service was disrupted in the Howrah Madhwan uh, main line because of the anti-social activities yet again taking place. But police, I, vehicles have police vehicles have been burned. RAV vehicles have been burned. Yesterday night. Yesterday night. And only because of the intervention of the RPF, the norm, certain amount of normalcy has been restored in the main line of that Howrah station. But I seek your lordship's leave to not... I take it up on a prepon date or 2 p.m. today. I can arrange the papers. No, the report has to be filed. Uh, the general has taken that was with regard to the shippur. No, uh, what you do is you file a supplementary affidavit. I have actually the matter is supposed to come tomorrow. Yes. Thursday. Yes. Thursday, there is a there's a in that event. May I pray for since the order might not have been uploaded, preponment of the matter on 5th. There may be some disturbance in so far as the working. CRP and Central Forces there is no other You do one thing, you file a supplementary affidavit. We will grant you leave to do it. So the matter will come tomorrow. Grateful to you. So the report also will be on the because Thursday there will be total disruption. Yes. Hmm? Gone you Peter, you it's a supplementary affidavit. I am here till 8 o'clock in the evening, so I take all services. <laughs> No, what is it? Is it the right? Then I, I think there is a because I think well, there was some disruption at Rishra, not Howrah. Rishra. No, he said Howrah. It is not the one which we today's had... newspaper also reports. So Rishra, Malad, Rishra. I have taken instructions. I think everything is under control. But if he's filing a supplementary, we'll come back tomorrow, Malad, If you if you because uh, there is some uh, apprehension that uh, that Bajrangbali procession also that was in Rishra, Malad. That was day before. Howrah. That was day before. Yes, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday something or happened, or but that or was in Rishra, not in the matter where your lordships have passed orders. Irrespective of your lordships' orders, it's under control, Malad. I, I have reports for that, but let him file. I'll, I'll take. So if he is able to file the supplementary affidavit, you have a short report on that also. Well, I will. Well, I will get you a report. Well, it might not be in the form of an affidavit. If you're logic, kindly excuse me for that, well, because no, somebody needs to sign it. That's yes, yes, well, the commissioner or the commissioner will sign with the seal. Some authentication. Yes, yes, well, well, that without that, how can I well, place it before logic? Yes, do that, sir. I'm very grateful. It is under compelling circumstances. I'm mentioning a matter. This was well, uh, This is a matter pertaining to tender. Now, a person who has been selected is ineligible. Now, I mentioned this matter before the uh, Honorable Single Judge yesterday. Now, this was not, she did not entertain it mm. as a, a, an urgent motion. Now, uh, your Lordships have the power to entertain this application. Because there's no order that has been passed and I can't appeal. And in oh. the meantime, this matter will become infractious. No, is it a fresh matter? Or... It is absolutely a fresh matter, Milits. Now, if this is not heard, Milits, uh, it will become infractious because the no, contract uh... will be granted. 
whether the honorable judge has released the matter no she has not released it she's not given any dates she's not uh, it was filed on friday last yes and i mentioned it yesterday uh, for uh, urgent is, uh, is it included in the list no you give the number let me verify i'll do that hmm? you collect it and bring it uh, may I give the slip itself? You give it, uh, we'll verify. I'm deep. Deep your question. Deep your question. Appellate side, daily list, serial number one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lordship, this is my application, Lordship, for transfer of a matter yes. from uh, this uh, Honorable High Court to the National Green Tribunal, Lordship, mm. because the matter is concerning a pond and the illegal filling up of a pond by the Bairampur Municipality, Lordship. So now this matter is already running. The uh, two proceedings have been initiated by two different environmentalists in High Court as well as in uh, NGT. Uh, which, which was the, the earlier? NGT was the earlier petition? No, no Lordship. Red petition was earlier. Red, red petition My was uh, earlier. Uh, may, I am... may I make a submission, please. Blood copy has not been served. Man. All right. Lord, I'll serve a no, copy. That is why it is under the caption to be mentioned. Yes. Yeah. I'll you, serve you, a copy, Lordship. Lordship, uh, Lord uh, so according to section 14 of the NGT Act, Lordship, uh, the NGT, the National Green Tribunal, is the appropriate forum to try these matters, which is with regards to the environment. So your Lordship will be kind enough and already a, a committee has been constituted by the National Green Tribunal to try these matters. No, and the I, report friend, has been submitted. So now, who are who's appearing for the private respondents? Uh, respondents 9 to 20. 9 to 20, Lordship, I'm appearing. This uh, this uh, is on behalf of this application is on behalf and of 9 to 20. You are the encroacher. No, Lordship, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, Lordship, I beg I'm to, for them, I beg to differ party. on that part. I am for the municipality, Your Lordship. Initially, when this matter was heard, injunction was granted, Your Lordship. On the next day, state has filed a report stating that the private respondent who is before Your Lordship for transferring the petition are the illegal occupiers and encroachers. They have encroached the thing. After that, as per the Inland Fisheries Act, the state has said the municipality has a power under Section 17A to How bring can the pot. I have not discussed your submission. To bring the pond back to its original position. We have started the proceedings. Three hearings has been done. On the 30th, the hearing has been concluded. Now, under 17A, we are supposed to issue an order for bringing the pond to its original formation, which has been encroached. That process is ongoing. Now, the petitioner is not here who has filed this actual public interest litigation. The private respondent who are the recorded owners, FIR has been done against them. The state is here. I have the copy of the FIR as well. So now they are coming and saying the matter to be transferred to the NGT. May I, Lordship? Lordship, this entire pond is actually recorded. We are the recorded owners of this pond. And so who is we... for the writ petitioner? The... I'm the writ petitioner. You are for the writ petitioner. If you, Lordship, ask for this matter of NGT, I have no objection, Mr. <laughs> Lordship, you the... might be saying, Lordship, but then the to... question remains, I, I represent the state. The question remains, in terms of West Bengal Inland Transport, uh, Inland Mallard, uh, what Fisheries Act? Fisheries Act have uh, all of a sudden has been difficult. No. Earlier in this is court number there. one. This, uh, this uh, Nashi Green Tribunal is a specialized forum. Lordship. Uh, created for this purpose. They will examine the very same legal position, either it's here or there. Your Lordship. Your Lordship, only one humble submission is that when this proceeding under this act has been. Which is your CAN application? CAN three. Lordship three. CAN three. CAN three. Malad CAN application that has. I will been... serve. I will serve. I will serve Malad. in the course of the day. You are for? Malad, I am for the applicant number uh, CAN number one and two. Malad, we have shops over there, Malad. So as long as the matter is pending, you are happy. Your lordship, only one humble Malad, submission. We are, we are, we are 
doing business you know, from there for the last 50 years all right maybe even 500 years but if you are an encroacher you need to be okay well, there Would is you no encroachment with the pond money. Lordship, the encroachment is there. They are, the construction is continuing, Lordship. I have a certain uh, documents my which Lord, can prove Lord, it. Can you see the affidavit filed by the municipality, my Lord? All right. Please come. This writ petition <coughs> had been filed as a public interest litigation contending that the private respondents have encroached into a water body. Identical relief has been sought for in an application filed before the National Green Tribunal Eastern Zone Bench, Kama Kolkata, in original application number 91 of 2002, slash EZ. And it appears that the National Green, Trib uh, Green Tribunal has also constituted a committee and, the ma and proceedings are pending. In the meantime, it was brought to the notice of the National Green Tribunal about the pendency of this public interest litigation and consequently, the proceedings before the NGT, uh, you can abbreviate it, uh, NGT uh, has been kept in abeyance, uh, awaiting orders in this writ petition. Uh, the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner, writ petitioner, uh, conveys his no objection for the matter being transferred to the NGT for being heard along with original application 91 bar, uh, 91 slash 2002 slash EZ. Uh, considering the fact that the National Trib Trib Green Tribunal is a specialized body constituted for examining issues concerning uh, pollution and environmental issues, we deem it appropriate to transfer this petition to the file of the National Green Tribunal Eastern Zonal Bench, so Eastern Eastern Zone Bench, Kolkata, to be heard and decided along with original application 91-2002-EZ. The registry is directed to transmit the entire original files to the National Green Tribunal within a week from date. Most grateful, Lordship. Most grateful. Lord, uh, difficulty would be, I tell you, Lordship, the councils representing here, they do not go to... There is a separate panel. No? Uh, that, is why, that is why I am submitting let a copy of the order along with copy of the edit petition and other pap cause papers be served to the respondents. Uh, needless to state, sir, as a writ petitioner, you need to no, do sir, no, sir. Needless to state that the uh, um, uh, learned advocate for the writ petitioner shall serve one set of papers on the learned councils who will be appearing for the respondents before the NGT. That's good. Most grateful, Lordship. Deeply yes, yes, yes. Serial number two. My lord, I'm appearing on behalf of the petitioner praying for not today. Why? Be because uh, the advocate on record, his mother is very ill and he is going to native village. But you can't manage, you don't have the papers. No, my lord, that's why. This is the yeah, random is directing. Mr. Mr. Shottujit Mahato. Absolutely a private dispute. My lot uh, kindly not today. No, according to them, the panchayat is constructing a road. Yes, yes. but the, he is saying that encro that that encroaches his land. Could then, it be decided by the high court? No, it can't be. At least, if he has given an application, you can measure the property in his presence. If there is no encroachment, you inform him there is no encroachment. That can be done by uh, local land. He has given representations. We will direct you to consider the representation, right. conduct an inspection, measure the property, and then uh, take a decision. Already presentation, uh, The petitioner, by way of this public interest litigation, seeks for a direction upon the respondents. To forbear them from putting up any illegal or unauthorized construction in an unmetalled panchayat road. In this regard, the petitioner has given a given representation. At page 21, kindly, Chief Justice. This is in Bharnakula, Justice Bhattacharya. Given, given, given a representation on 29th August. 29th August 2022 to the 
ब्लॉक लैंड एंड लैंड रिफॉर्म्स ऑफिसर ब्लॉक लैंड एंड लैंड रिफॉर्म्स ऑफिसर मन बाजार वन पुरुलिया वेस्ट बंगाल इट अपीयर्स दैट रिप्रेजेंटेशन हैज नॉट बीन कंसीडर्ड टिल डेट द डिस्प्यूट रेज्ड बाय द पिटिशनर कैन नॉट बी रिजॉल्व इन अ रिट पिटिशन वेयर बाय बाय मींस ऑफ एफिडेविट्स एज फैक्ट्स हैव टू बी गॉन इनटू देयरफॉर वी वी डायरेक्ट द फोर्थ रेस्पॉन्डेंट नेमली द ब्लॉक लैंड एंड लैंड रिफॉर्म्स ऑफिसर मन बाजार वन टू कंसिडर द रिप्रेजेंटेशन डायरेक्ट वन ऑफ हिस ऑफिसर्स टू इंस्पेक्ट द प्रॉपर्टी एंड मेशर द प्रॉपर्टी इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द रिट पिटिशनर एंड देन पास ऑर्डर्स ऑन मेरिट एंड इन अकॉर्डेंस विद लॉ दिस डायरेक्शन बी कैरीड आउट विद इन अ पीरियड ऑफ टू वीक्स फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ Two weeks. Three weeks from the date. But measurement takes little time. No, no. Construction is going on. No, within two weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order, along with the copy of the representation, be forwarded to the BLL. The petitioner is directed to forward a copy of the representation along with a copy of this order to enable the fourth respondent to comply with the above direction. And kindly make it three weeks. Three within the time permitted. Hmm? Yes, it is posted. Grateful. Number three. But I am for the petition, my lord. Lord, in three, my lord, I am appealing for election commission, India, my lord. But I am, my lord, I am for the private respondent, eleven to seventeen, except fifteen. But what has happened in the matter, my lord? Illegal inserting the name of the certain candidates, my lord, who are underage in the voting list, my lord. Their name has been. But in... how to interfere after the election process? But what has happened? Kindly see, my lord. We filed a representation and page page fourteen. Thereafter, my lord, kindly look to my lord the BDO's order, which is at my lord page my lord twenty seven. Twenty seven. This is to inform you that you know, calling to update for so and so so part nine so and so. And the BDO stated that in terms of other card, they are all are overage. Two thousand four. Supreme Court says. Only when the situation is so monstrous, monstrosity of the situation, in a writ court shall not in interdict an election process. No, no, my lord. Here, my lord. Only Swami case is the oldest yes, yes, decision yes, yes. on that the Supreme Court. But so lord. there are two ways of looking. At. If suppose a candidate gets elected and you feel that these eight candidates are underage, etc., your only remedy is an election petition post election. No, no. What has happened? Kindly see, my lord. Page twenty-seven, my lord. The video says, my lord, their date of birth is two thousand four year. And now, kindly look to my lord the next page. I attach the other card of those doc person. State that date of birth oh, is two thousand seven. Go, go before the election commission. My lord, I am bringing in this time to take some instruction because what has happened, my lord? They have submitted some documents in the red net. Read one thing. My lord, now this is varying, my lord. It might be they may they have entered some. Other cards so... says two thousand seven. Be it your order. He will make a petition to the election commission. You consider the petition. My lord, you just give me seven days time so that I can take instruction so that what they have so submitted. Within seven days, you decide his grievance. My lord, another after seven days for the matter to be listed, we dispose it off with the direction that he will approach you with an application petition. You decide that. But petition. they had approached. It has verified, but seeing that there is some. You decide it within ten days, seven days. When is the election scheduled? Or may I just submit one? Election matter. I'm appearing for the private respondents. I'm appearing for the private respondents, which is allegation is against them that they they are unregistered. Unregistered. This is only an error, perhaps which has taken place in the electoral roll, which can be corrected. That much. It that need not be stretched. It so, need not be stretched to that extent, huh? my lord. It need the not be stretched to that extent. Please take down. The petitioner, by way of this public interest litigation, seeks for issuance of a writ of mandamus to uh, consider his written complaint, alleging that the private respondents herein are underaged, and they are. Uh, underaged, hmm? and. Uh, they cannot be that and their names cannot be included in the electoral roll admittedly the election process has commenced therefore no but the date of election has not been for the election by election, election process commences from the date of notification yes election process yes. has commenced on and after the issuance of the notification no, no, for election total bhs the grievance of the writ petitioner is that the, the date of birth yes. of the 
private respondents given in the order passed by the block development officer bharatpur number no. 1 development block dated 17 2 2023 is different from the date of birth in the aadhar card other cards of the private of the private respondents yes sir and one such aadhar card has been uh, enclosed along with the writ petition in our view since the election process has already started the same cannot be interdicted however if the law permits the, uh, the the petitioner can very well approach the election commission which has been implemented as the second respondent oh the second or third respondent alert third my lord uh, third this will be dealt by the sixth subdivision officer because he had made the inquiry in the last occasion my lord which respondent subdivision officer my lord six my lord is due because they have done the inquiry it was uh, later no, no. the inquiry no election no, five no. respondent number in minute three my lord respondent no. two three third respondent will decide third hmm? my lord third uh, can we approach the third respondent by way of an uh, representation which can be directed to be considered in accordance with law um, in the light of the above the writ petition stands disposed of by directing the uh, writ petitioner to submit a representation to the third respondent along with all documents and a copy of this order within 3 days from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order please me and on receipt of the said uh, representation the third respondent shall verify the records and uh, uh, after issuance of notice to the private respondents pass a recent order on merits and accordance with law if law permits to do so well done there is a time limit within which yes, 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 the yes. water list can be altered Malo, an opportunity of hearing to do so. Malo, an opportunity. Since uh, uh, strict timelines are fixed for alteration of the electoral rules. Malo, an opportunity of hearing. Opportunity, opportunity of hearing may be given to all the party concerned. Hmm? Yes, that may be recorded. After notice and opportunity of hearing to the private. Malo, when finally note, my lord, in my submission that there is a dispute with regard to the other card that they have submitted in the. We decided there. No, let that be gone because what my instruction is that they have submitted the other card over. Now they have the next one thing. And they have admitted separate other card over there. But at that point, we needed that they have at a separate other card over there. Or so any submission of the that the point, third respondent shall inquire into the matter huh? after uh, and examine all the documents that the parties may produce, and then take a decision in accordance with the law. Grateful to Lord, extremely grateful. Grateful. Next. My Lord, I beg to appear for the petitioner. Hmm. My Lord, I have served upon all the respondents, but one service report is. not available at page number 9 of my affidavit of service what is the relief you want the <laughs> issue in the appeal application is that for the registration of nurses in the state of west bengal hmm. the nursing council in the state of west bengal they are insisting upon a declaration that the candidates who have passed from various institutions all over india that institution should be recognized from the indian nursing council but Well, the C, C, uh, under section 10 of the act 1947 act the indian nursing council Should sets the criteria of the syllabus and the standards of education That's and the, the state uh, authority state nursing council or the respective state governments gives the affiliation oh, let, let the uh, who are you well i am the that is the one no no who, who is, is the petitioner petitioner is a social worker no he, nothing yes, mentioned yes the ma either the institution should come Yes. Or the nurses who studied in the institution should True. come. Some social worker is coming. This some agenda to it. But it is. But in their website of the nursing council. Let the aggrieved person. Come. Yes. Let the aggrieved. You file a writ petition on behalf of ten nurses who studied there. We will examine, and you bring all the uh, what relevant act. If you say that the act yes, uh, has to be read down, My. to mean that you file a proper writ petition. My, I will come with right. the liberty of your. After, after some arguments. Okay. the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner seeks permission to withdraw this writ petition which has been filed as a public interest litigation but by a social worker after this court pointed out that the aggrieved person is not before the court accordingly writ petition is dismissed as withdrawn however this will not be a bar for the aggrieved person to seek for appropriate relief before the appropriate court we are great should be not great next serial number 5 Do number five, my lord. I am appearing on behalf of the petitioner, my lord. Ah, yes, yes, my, Mr. Banerjee. My, my lord, lord. In, 
my my lord my lord my lord in case my one uh, one pa, additional uh, one additional public prosecutor in charge of the durga uh, uh, laned uh, durgapur sub divisional court my lord has taken 20 lakh rupees and one iphone from accused person family and my lord there was a assurance that uh, that uh, laned public prosecutor in charge will acquitted them by any way my lord it has published in different uh, uh, social media, my lord, which I have annexed in uh, page page uh, 12, 13, my lord, uh, 14, 15, and 16, my lord. In the social media, my lord, this news has published, and my lord, I have also annexed in uh, page number 17, my lord, kindly see uh -huh. this person, De Deva Sai, who is the uh, 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 who is the person who has given assurance. Uh, for acquittal of the accused person, my lord, same person has taken role in the case of a bail petition where he is representing from the both party, that is prosecution and my lord also from the part of uh, accused person, my lord. Kindly see my lord, page number 17, my lord. It is the it is uh, um, order of the learned, uh, learned court, my lord, learned additional um, Sessions Durgapur Court, my lord. No, you lodge a criminal complaint. Who are you? You are a public interest litigant. My lord, I am I'm social worker, my lord. My lord, I have seen it. Social from... worker. Wait, 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 sir. Mr. Yeah. Banerjee, you may be a social worker exposing the cause, etc. Well and good. Very happy for you. But your writ petition is based upon some YouTube uploading some, uh, what is it, uh, uh, some Facebook uh, message. What is the uh, investigation done by you? See, you can't just cut a piece of this newspaper and say, based on newspaper report, I'm filing a writ petition. You should have inquired into the matter. And if suppose you wanted uh, some material, you should have asked under the RTA. And uh, this is some incident where a, a court has acquitted or granted bail. And based on newspaper report, we can't do it, sir. Do some investigation, do some research on that, and then come to us. This can't be it. My lord, uh, my lord uh, give me liberty to... The red petition at this stage is premature. So we liberty to the red petitioner to withdraw the red petition and do some more research and come back. Please. We have, uh, we have heard so and so on. After some arguments, learned, uh, uh, after the, the court has pointed out that the writ petition has been filed solely based upon uh, so, some reports in the social media come on, without the petitioner undertaking any research on the issue. Come on, this court was uh, not inclined to entertain the writ petition. At that juncture, the learned advocate for the appellant seeks permission to withdraw this writ petition and pursue the matter before the appropriate authorities. Accordingly, the writ petition stands dismissed as withdrawn with the aforementioned liberty. Next. Grateful below. Grateful below. Serial number six. Yes. What is this Mandir committee? Since no one is present. Mandir on behalf of the state. Ajahn, you are for the... What the state response? Both she is assisting. But nobody is present. None appears for the petitioner. On the last occasion, namely on 30th of March 2023, the court has recorded that none appeared for the petitioner. Thus, it appears that the petitioner is not interested in prosecuting the matter. Dismissed for non prosecution. Great food. Now we have to go to the monthly list. Huh? From item. Thank you. So from tomorrow, you print here also. Huh? So that uh, I do learn that advocates will be able to. Appellate site, monthly list from serial number 213 and 14. But, uh, I appear for the petition, my lord. But the uh, reply is uh, reply is otherwise ready, my lord. But I could not uh, affirm contact the client, my lord. It's still uh, uh, pending affirmation. 
social worker what, what is the issue issue my lord pertaining to all the unauthorized construction my lord on a water body on oh, water body huh? not water body on a public land public land my lord and i must to produce an allotment order so on so so on so Uh, whether any interim order was granted the interim order was not there my lord what is the stage of the matter my lord it's ready for final hearing my lord i'll tell you lot of my lord what has happened my lord this relates to my lord two wards my lord in my lord what is today my lord part of my lord bidhanagar municipality my lord the allegations my lord are two fold my lord when my lord Uh, land was allotted, my lord, in that area. My lord, is for it was for rehabilitation purposes. Hmm. Now, my lord, under the scheme then, which was being run, my lord, by the rehabilitation, my lord, unit, my lord, at that point of time, allotments, my lord, had been made on the basis of allotment slips. Hmm. Then, my lord, in some cases, my lord, lease deeds, my lord, were also executed. The allegation, my lord, made, my lord, in the writ petition is on this land today. we find that illegal constructions are coming up mm. now my lord we filed two reports and two affidavits that's on, on the part of the state pointing out my lord how many families are involved what we have found with regard to allotment letters and leasehold what we have found my lord with regard to persons in possession and what we have found with regard to construction mm. now my lord as far as construction is concerned my lord our specific case on the part of the state is whatever we have found mellor there mellor having come up other than little hutments which are really temporary structures is mellor that there is mellor no mellor sanction plan mm. we have stated so mellor on fdd very so mellor bidhanagar municipal corporation mellor has also mellor mellor adopted mellor the same stand mm. then mellor directions were given mellor to issue mellor show cause notices and mellor find out mellor how this construction Mallard could have come up. Mm. Bihar Nagar Municipality thereafter, Mallard has given a list, Mallard of Mallard notices which have been given, mm. how many people appeared. But Mallard that was almost Mallard a year back. Mm. Now Mallard we need to know Mallard the latest Mallard. But then once they take a stand yeah. that uh, these are all illegal construction, no direction is required from the correct Mallard. The matter can end. Mallard matter. So can... they need to take it forward correct. till the logical end. Correct. Absolutely. My lord, they have said that they do not find any sanction plan. My lord, under my lord the statute, my lord, if my lord there is my lord going to be a demolition order, my lord, then notice has to be given. Exactly. My lord, so my lord, notices wrong. have been issued, and my lord, your lordships can direct them, my lord, to take it, my lord, to the logical end. It can end there. But my lord, uh, I don't know, my lord, what reply my lord is to be filed because I think my lord here, my lord. No, if they have, uh, if if they have taken a stand. Fine. That these buildings are multi-story buildings don't have a sanction plan. We will direct the Bidhanagar Municipal Corporation to proceed with the show cause notice and probably demolish the building. See, the building has come up. Of course, if, if there is no planning permission yet under the relevant statute, that procedure needs to be followed. So, th if they are sitting tight on that, we will direct them to do so within a two, two weeks or three weeks. Are the encroachers party? But, uh, I mean, the. Speaking for the corporation, Mallard. Ah. Uh. But uh, in terms of the order, Mallard, we have already given hearing to the persons, Mallard, who, according to us, have constructed illegally or beyond the sanction plan. Mm. But the act requires the West Bengal Municipal Corporation Act in Section two sixty six requires Mallard a hearing to be given before demolition. Yes. Now, Mallard, the only thing is that since the number is not, it's not a. Allegation against a single construction, Mallard. Large. Process has taken a bit uh, longer time, Mallard. And probably, Mallard, we are not at hundred percent completion as far as hearing is concerned. So, Mallard, so how much time you think it will you will require? Within a month, you will be able to finish uh, the Mallard, hearing uh, and uh, pass orders. Exact instruction with regard to that, but Mallard, for some a bit more time may be required. No, probably thirty days can be uh, uh, would be sufficient to complete the hearing. Then you pass an order. Even if you pass an order, they will take it on appeal, or they may challenge it, etc. That uh, okay. that window we need to give. As far as the COVID nineteen, now to identify the location of the cluster. No, individual, individual. So individual notices have been issued. Individual notices have been issued. We are at the stage of hearing. But some. How many? How many? Roughly, how many people? My uh, lord, the list, my lord, which I have, 
my lord on the basis of a report of the task force my lord which was appointed by this honorable court is 333 buildings have been constructed 39 are under construction and my lord the affidavit which has been filed by the bidhan nagar municipality is my lord as on that date my lord 51 show cause notices my lord had been issued in which there was an appearance for only on behalf of 11 that is my lord the position but uh, those uh, violators or encroachers they are not parties in the writ petition no they are not parties not but then why the municipal corporation was watching all these things happen if it's a multi story building coming up oh, these but, inspectors uh, go up and down my lord i don't think they are large my lord multi story but there is i found there are some. there are some there are some probably ground plus 2 yes. ground plus 3 No, on a CG plus four of the year. Hello, G. But this petition, my lord, brings uh, the uh, on full post notice. My lord, the situation has been true. Words are concerned. So, my lord, the area, my lord, uh, has increased. No, uh, uh, can we see your affidavit where you have said that there is? Uh, Did you meet with him? Or the state's affidavit? Yes, my lord, kindly take my lord the state's affidavit, my lord, which is my lord an affidavit of. Shantanu Das, my lord, affirmed on twenty seventh September twenty twenty one. Heading is in compliance of the solemn. We have got an affidavit of Dabasish Ghosh. Oh. oh, that's my lord. That is my lord, uh, Commissioner. Commissioner. Next case. Affidavit. Our dear friend. Yes. Complaint. Mr. Surajit Bose, my lord, has my lord affirmed an affidavit on behalf of my lord the my lord municipality, municipal corporation. My no. lord, that is my lord of August twenty twenty one. My lord, at least that's what served on us, my lord. No, we are we have got Shantanu Das affidavit. Yes, my lord, uh, September twenty twenty one. Kindly yes. come to page seven. Page seven. Yes, my lord. Under the heading unauthorized construction and steps taken for stopping future constructions, your lordships have that, my lord. My lord, your lordships looking at there's a second affidavit. There are two affidavits, my lord, by Shantanu Das. My lord, the second one is more comprehensive, my lord, which is why, my lord, I'm. The heading heading is affidavit on behalf of the state in compliance of the solemn order dated. My lord, it's in compliance of the order dated twenty fourth August twenty twenty one. The affidavit heading ah. state. My lord, kindly yes, come to page thoughts. seven. Kindly come to page seven, my lord. Are not raised constructions and steps taken. taken for stopping future constructions. My lord, I can read it, but your lordship will probably read it faster than me. No, no, no. I, I don't drum it. <laughs> Twenty single story, fifty five of ground plus one, sixty six ground plus two, hundred and thirteen building. We'll direct prosecution of the commissioner. No, no, no. This this is clear collusion. All your subordinate staff, all your assistant commissioners, your inspectors. See the moment uh, any construction starts. I don't know where the municipal rules permit here. Normally, they'll have to display a board. Giving the sanction order number, planning permission number, date on which, etc., and who is the applicant, the name uh, the, and uh, uh, name of the architect. That board has to be displayed. So normally, your fellow the inspectors, you dump three bags of sand. They'll be in front of your house for reasons. But, uh, This is clear pollution. Sir, the buildings are concerned, my lord. We have already. No, 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 no. We'll complete the hearing, sir, and take steps. That, that's after you have committed the sin. You allowed all these things, and uh, they have to be personally held responsible. Sir, whoever was the commissioner, or whoever was the assistant commissioner, or whatever rank of the officer, on these two wards, these illegal construction. See, ground plus one, sixty-six ground plus two, hundred and thirteen buildings are ground plus three, seventy-six five buildings are ground plus four. And four with ground plus five. I'll tell you, sir, that the corporation is a new corporation. 
but it is an amalgamation of other municipalities there is rajahat gopalpur municipality that is true sir which has all been amalgamated into vidhanagar municipal corporation and is now not guided by the bengal municipal act of 1993 but the bengal municipal corporations act of 2006 so matlab all the plans may not be issued by the corporation at all true. but all then the construction also may not have been constructed all right see suppose on account of merger hmm, this area comes to vidhanagar municipal corporation okay. will you not be collecting tax for the for the period during which let us assume it was with kolkata mail yes the transition uh, that provision will be there transition provision so suppose there is escapement of assessment of property tax will not the bidarnagar municipal corporation successor of the kolkata municipal they have got every right to issue notices to the owners where escapement of assessment is there so therefore you inherit all the sins also right i right. Well, I I I could keep out of what matter what I'm trying to can for the yeah, assets assets and encumbrances the, all the all the constructions were not right under our rules that is what I'm trying to submit to. it has as to be, way, like, it has to be under your case as when the complaints are reached us but we have taken steps but all right now like, now we will issue a direction there are some some hearing there only one some hearing notice there are steps have been taken but as back as in 2019 also It's not that all these steps are being taken, but after the order. All right, but but not after the order. What we have done in terms of the order, we have created a task force, but so that there is a catalyst to the entire process. So, but you do one thing. The answer some time, but we complete the hearing. There after, but the no no. You complete the hearing and pass orders and report to us within thirty days. Yes, but two sixty six requires, and only these steps required under a hearing has to be given. If a demolition order is passed, then the commissioner is required to give the person who is to demolish 45 days to demolish by himself. If not, thereafter the corporation will take step in and take this step. So Now this is, this hearing will be akin to a public hearing. Total more than 500 uh, buildings are there. But Malad kindly gives a 30 day and kindly Malad kindly records in the order that no adjournment shall be done. No prayer for time shall be allowed. Malad, uh... because Malad then next day, Malad, what happens is that what we face is that Malad they will not turn up or not bring the doc. They may turn up and say that no documents is there. Then Malad a writ is in the municipal uh, Malad building tribunal is not existing now. A writ is filed by saying that this is a complete violation of national law because I had a plan, but the uh, some uh, corporation did not. So when the, if a writ is moved, they will serve notice on you. You tell that this PIL is being monitored. The matter is being monitored. Malad, please tag this. We will bring it here. No adjournment shall be granted. Only that. Only that. No, Manod, uh, we are in a public interest litigation, Manod. Manod, I remember, Manod, after passing off the order, Manod, I had also come up before the Honourable Court. It is a very emotional memory, Manod. Uh, today is the full court reference of the Honourable Justice Radha Krishnan. My Lord was pleased to pass the initial entry order. So I had indicated that despite passing off the entry orders, properties are being sold. They are being advertised in Facebook Marketplace as property. Which, in respect of which no loans are available, so my lord was pleased to intervene and direct that it should be uh, there should be no registry done, nothing should be done. So that this is, was continuing. So interim order is there. Is that was done, my lord? But till date, my lord, I find my lord there has been no substantial progress, my lord, pursuant to my lord in compliance with the orders passed, my lord. And one more aspect, my lord, my lords were pleased to my lord call for a report. It is there in the order, my lord, as regards the total number of unauthorized construction. In under the entire jurisdiction of the Bidhan Nagar Municipal Corporation, but now, my lord, interpreting it the other way round, they have kept it restricted, my lord, to these two words. My lord, when it comes to do these two words, my lord, there was a submission which was made that it is a new corporation. My lord, the corporation was formed sometimes in 2014. Now we are in 2023, and my lord, these particular properties, the plots of land, my lord, these are all. Owned by the state, my lord. These all vest under my lord the urban De development department, and these are all earmarked for refugee rehabilitation. So on these particular plots, my lord, constructions have come come up, my lord. But the honourable court at that point of time was pleased to observe also, my lord, that the commissioner will be personally made responsible, my lord. These are all there in the order, mm -hmm. and my lord, there is it is my duty, my lord, oh, since I, I am in public interest, my lord. You can do one thing. Prepare a small compilation of I all will. the orders alone. I will do that. Mm, I'm, I'm grateful, my lord. And my lord, it is also my duty to indicate, my lord, since we are in public interest and I am an officer of the court, my lord. But the petitioners, my lord, someone is calling up constantly um, the office of my advocate of the, on record, asking for issuance of no objection. The moment he is saying that very well, 
you come let the petitioner no. approach but no one is coming forward so man filing an exception at this juncture man is difficult is difficult man i will rather man beseech the honorable court to take it up man now so motor man since we are in public interest but no. fire and say fire hazards are there man no, no, let, let, let this uh, petitioners are suman das and others how many petitions i am in 213 man anything and that property is subject matter here no 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 there is another property where he is appearing that's actually a civil matter dispute between brother and sister uh, that is an a state of unauthorized construction and sector one <laughs> that demolition happened below that demolition below the corporation didn't say that this is a new municipality this is this i cannot do that that happened there was no problem this is unless and until there was active cooperation at this stage we won't say collusion active cooperation of the officers this could not happen but this will be carried out these two public interest litigation portray the manner in which the municipal authorities have turned a blind eye to illegality happening within their jurisdiction there have been series of orders passed by the division bench from time to time that if just to intervene your lordship but there was probably an order in mind uh, madam lord for filing of a report uh, there are there are series of orders passed by the division bench from time to time which we which at this stage we are we are not referring to and suffice to know an affidavit filed on behalf of the state in compliance with the order dated 24th August 2021. <clears throat> In the said uh, affidavit, the the in the said affidavit, sworn to by the additional secretary to the government of West Bengal, Department of Urban Development and, and Municipal Affairs, come up. Facts have been set out. under different subheadings there are only two subheadings yes my lord one under is under two subheadings namely a capital a encroachments and b unauthorized constructions and steps taken for stopping further future constructions the action taken by the municipal authorities with regard to the encroachments have been set out and what is shocking is the information given under subheading b pertaining to unauthorized construction it has been stated that the total number of plots under which constructions are um, it is it has been stated that there are 39 plots in which constructions have taken place uh, uh, and the number of buildings which have been constructed are 333 out of the 333 buildings 20 are single story 50 50 are ground plus 1 66 are ground plus 2 113 are ground plus 3 75 are ground plus 4 and 4 are ground plus 5 structures it is stated that the budan bidan nagar municipal corporation has issued stop work notices to constructions which have been carried out without a building plan approval or in violation of the plan approval granted uh, various other facts have also been set out and uh, uh, which which presents a very sorry state of affairs Uh, this court is at a loss to understand as to how the municipal authorities were not aware of such rampant illegal and unauthorized constructions being carried out within their jurisdiction 
it is a submission of the learned advocate for the bidhanagar municipal corporation that it is a, that uh, the said corporation is a new corporation be that as it may if the corporation has been by uh, has uh, been created and a certain area has been bifurcated from the kolkata municipal corporation it goes without saying that the successor corporation has to examine all matters and cannot wriggle out of their responsibility by stating that they are a new corporation uh, <clears throat> had the municipal authorities conducted periodic inspections within their jurisdiction such rampant anathres construction would not have taken place in any event it appears that no don't say any event the learned advocate appearing for the uh, bidanagar municipal corporation submits that notices have been issued Already to the persons who have made unauthorized construction and in terms of the provisions of the relevant act they have to be afforded an opportunity of hearing and the hearing is in progress um, from the various orders passed by this court from time to time it appears that that uh, the matter has been unreasonably and uh, prolonged hmm? uh, for reasons best known therefore we are inclined to fix a peremptory time limit within which the corporation should complete the hearing and the uh, the the notices should be informed that no adjournment will be granted uh, uh, for for the personal hearing which is being offered and if the if the parties if the notices fail to avail the opportunity then the municipal corporation is entitled to proceed further in accordance with the law hmm? uh, with a view to monitor the matter hmm? this court would direct that the <clears throat> hearing which is been uh, which is being conducted by the bidanagar municipal corporation shall be concluded within a period of 30 days from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order and uh, and further action be taken uh, uh, on conclusion of the hearing within the next 15 days hmm? <coughs> and uh, and the uh, hmm? 45 days will not be treated uh, how much is the time limit my lord uh, my lord after demolition order it's 45 days my lord uh, so my lord uh, no the hearing, the hearing will be completed in 30 days and further action be taken in in accordance with the timelines fixed under the relevant act the bidanagar the commissioner of the bidanagar municipal corporation shall file a action taken report on the next hearing we will give you probably we will list the matter just, just before vacation in may malad hmm? well, only one correction only if i may suggest malad in my submissions it has gone down malad one well, one hmm? no further hmm. uh, yes. it has gone down the areas of kolkata municipal corporation matlab it will be rajarhat gopalpur municipality oh rajarhat okay um further uh, the uh, municipal corporation shall ensure that no construction activities are carried on in any, in the area in question and uh, they shall also conduct periodic inspection 15. to examine as to whether any other unauthorized or illegal construction is being carried out in fact yeah uh, no illegal and unauthorized construction um the municipal corporation shall also uh, form a team hmm, of uh, inspectors huh, uh, who will, who should be directed to uh, regularly monitor the uh, Uh, uh monitor and uh, uh in the uh, in the municipal in the jurisdiction of the municipality to ensure that no other are not no unauthorized or illegal construction is put up within the jurisdiction of the municipal corporation uh okay. list the matter on 2nd may but uh, may i just pray for one more indulgence if my lord kindly take spain my lord to take the order dated 9th of august 2021 this is the difficulty oh okay. But I can read it out. It's uh, but it's not a very longish order, my lord. Now, initially, after passing of the order by, uh, but uh, the division bench presided over by His Lordship the Honourable Justice uh, Radha Krishnan. Now, thereafter, my lord, the matter came up 
when on this particular date pilot the honorable court was pleased to record that the learned advocate general seeks time to file comprehensive affidavit regarding various encroachments in the area of bidhanagar municipal corporation as in various reports which have come on record filed by the joint commissioner of the corporation it has been mentioned that unauthorized construction is either going on or has been completed on various plots in the area and number of people are in the area and number of people are residing in some buildings oh, where construction has been completed let a comprehensive affidavit be filed after carrying out survey of the entire area now what came there after malot was malot an affidavit malot which kept itself restricted malot only with regard to malot the two words oh, actually there are two affidavits comprehensive affidavit yes this order is 9th of august 2021 yes malot 9th of august and uh, there is an affidavit filed along with uh, some annexes there was In, another order on 24th yes, august an affidavit that affidavit is... be read Yes, that yes. affidavit an affidavit filed in compliance with the order dated 24th of august 2021 now you go, go through this affidavit and give your input you need not file a uh, malot may kindly malot i will do that malot may kindly malot malot preserve the liberty malot that on the returnable date malot they should come up with malot a comprehensive affidavit regarding no no, no. is this, this affidavit is not comprehensive 24th august you not no no 24th august affidavit malot is looking at the affidavit affirmed no. by shantanu das So there are two affidavits uh, affirmed by Shantanu Das. Yes, brother. One is in uh, in compliance of the direction in the order dated twenty fourth August. My lord. The another affidavit is ninth August. Ninth. You go through this affidavit. My lord. On the next hearing date, you tell us we'll have control over. My lord, I'll come and renew my prayer, my lord, with regard to the unauthorized construction regarding the other parts yes. of. Yes. Yes. Grateful to you, lord. And you make a small compilation of all. I will. I will. Make a compilation of all this code. So we'll have it on fifteenth uh, May. Grateful. Fifteenth. Hmm? Grateful, dear Lord. My Lord's kind. Put on the thirteenth. 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 Thirteenth is the Saturday. On twelfth, my Lord. Thirteenth is Saturday. Well, no, this we have to give them the time. No? Yes, but the time twelve is giving. Last I, week of May. No, you are not available on fourteenth. I might not be. I don't know. I don't. So fifteenth, no, nothing is going to happen. Three hundred and thirty-three buildings. <laughs> my Lord, only one thing, my Lord. When we go around that Vidhanagar area, as I walk, go for a walk, lot of buildings are just uh, lying unoccupied, and probably all these are all where notices are being given. But most of them are NRIs. They have either no, not unoccupied, half finished construction. Yes, the yes. columns are there, bricks are dumped. Probably for years together, nothing has happened. Civil dispersal. Actually, you can enumerate it. It's a well planned area. You can enumerate all the encroachments, unauthorized construction. Face by face, they can take action if they are willing to do so. My Lord, there is unless there is a will to do, it can't. <laughs> Yes, my lord. Uh, there is actually, my lord. Uh, my lord, it's treated as a government township. Mm. My lord, under a nineteen sixties act. My lord, there is also a plan, my lord, demarcating, my lord, what can come up where. Master, mm. the master plan, which is also referred to as a working plan in some. <laughs> uh, no, orders. yesterday we heard. Yes, yes, your lordships will find, my lord, in orders is being referred to as a working plan, or my lord, in some cases, my lord, I had argued one matter where I said kindly take it as the master plan, whether. Working plan or master plan? It is the only plan which is there. Previously, so, it was known as a master plan. Now <laughs> the state no. once took a defence that no, top of the mountain. No, no, it's not a form of middle class Bengali community. When it was treated, my learned senior friends are here. Mm. But now, my lord, there is not one middle class lord uh, <laughs> residing in Sonde. It's, it's so, it's my lord, what do you want? Yesterday there was a. Uh, I was here, my lord. I was sitting in my lord. And he said every owner has been given a copy of the master plan when the plot was allotted. Everyone was given a copy of the master plan. No, no, petition. And he was uh, arguing about the central park. Yes, my lord. That is my lord. Uh, Mr. Arunanshu Chakraborty was arguing oh, that. Right. Party in person. Yes, but party in person. That's a that that's a matter, my lord. Where probably everybody has appeared, my lord. Whoever is in uh, in high court, <laughs> or Mr. Chakraborty filed first, lord against. Uh, uh, Vedas. It was blood. A uh, community hall which came up. And I went to the Supreme Court. Blood. The Supreme Court stayed. The uh, he right. said that you can't make any construction beyond. No, the... but then the metro rail depot has already come. Yes, yes. 
Now he says further construction are the, going on. Yes, and beloved, in terms of that, but he says you can't go beyond the master. So every every matter, beloved, Mr. Chakravarti comes up and says that you can't go beyond the master. I was appearing in that uh, community hall matter. Supreme Court stayed below the uh, uh, the demolition of that. No, no, partial state. No, no, stayed it because no, no. they took uh, possession. That's why the possession wasn't given back, but stayed the demolition of the of that. Uh, the order of demolition. And this was constructed in a park. In a park. He says, you know, the park is this much, but basically the you know, there has been a carve out from that park, and that's not really the park. You know, the allotment was made initially. I had the occasion to appear also against him at yes. that point of time. That's allotment true. was initially of a park for developing a sports complex. In the name of developing a sports complex, what Mr. Chatterjee's client back then did, they made a ceremonial hall. They wanted to develop the premises. My client developed the premises. A banquet hall, which had no this connection with the sports complex. <laughs> yes. The court felt it should Malad, be the best source of information <laughs> is Malad, Mr. Bhattacharji, who was standing counsel for <laughs> Vidhan Nagar Municipal Corporation. Corporation. So, Malad, he'll have all the information. Yeah, information. Okay. That's exactly why, Malad, the PIL is here. <laughs> because <laughs> now, Malad, very strong I, arsenal against us. Malad, so when, I was there, mayor when I was there, presented to Arsenal councils. The, when the corporation was first formed, I was the first law in charge, one of the joint law in charge. Now, uh, we had a very clear policy that we will not look into any political affiliation. Unauthorized construction will interfere Actually, and will demolish. Hey, now it's going beyond. Now, Malad, yes. nobody yes. is Malad, alleging Malad, <laughs> Malad, 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 no, no, we've no, come, no, no, Malad, we've come up with an affidavit, Malad, Malad, indicting okay. ourselves. Malad, now, Malad, what I only want to say, Malad, there was also Malad, a direction to form a task force, mm. Malad, which we did. Malad, yesterday was a holiday. These matters Malad, had appeared. Malad, I didn't have the last report of the task force. Malad, if there is any, I'll produce it at the uh, uh, next. Grateful, extremely grateful. But Malad, I think directions from here rather than forces, committees, etc. Malad, That's will, will be better. Malad, because then it becomes task we, force. We, I can't. I can't. No, we'll strengthen the hands. Yes, yes. Malad, it might be better, Malad, rather than. Yes, grateful to you, Lord. Serial number 215. Lordship, Lordship, yes, sir. Uh, Mr. S. K. Haldar, appearing on behalf of the petitioner, is not well and he has not come today. Yes, hmm. Praying not for today, Lordship. That uh, last order was some report has to be filed. You give a copy, let them go through the report. Give uh, copies to the court also. Now may I hand over a copy of the report? Ah, uh, yes. Um, as directed by this court in its order dated 11th January 2021, a report has been filed. That is filed by the district program coordinator. Who has filed the report? It has been signed by the uh, district magistrate, South 24 Parganas, dated 1st March 2021. 1st March 2021. Copy of the report has been served on the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner. At his request, let the matter be listed in the monthly list of May. At monthly list of May. Much obliged. Serial number 216 and 17. I beg to appear for the petition in 216, my lord. And this is uh, with regard to Malot, a death of a child inside a police station, my lord. Mm. Uh, several orders have been passed, my lord. Uh, my learned senior is appearing on behalf of the uh, my lord, the Honorable High Court in the Suomoto case. But there are two PILs, one instituted Suomoto. Mm. I appear for the Registrar General of this Honorable Court concerning the self same subject matter. This is an incident of 29th October 2020 
when a 15 year old boy was apprehended by the Mallarpur police station hmm. at around 3.30 p.m. And at 9.30 p.m., that child went to the washroom, locked himself from inside, strangulated himself and died. There was the CCTV was not functioning and there was no child friendly corner. Miller, today is the 18th day this PIL, these two PILs are being taken up. Till date, Milord, no effective order has been passed. Milord, I beg to uh, refer on, only on one ground. Milord, 9th of uh, March 2021 order, if your Lordship may kindly seize, Milord, a direction was, was passed by this Honorable Court upon the Milord, Director General of Police. Milord, thereby Milord, uh, directing him to circulate Rule 8 of the West Bengal Milord, Juvenile Justice Rules, which says Milord, that apprehension of children Milord, will not be necessary or will be prohibited except in cases of heinous offence. Your Lordship knows Milord, heinous offence are offences where the, Milord, the, uh, the uh, punishment is more than seven years. So apart from the heinous offence, the police cannot apprehend a child. And my Lord, no FIR shall be registered in cases of petty and my Lord, serious offences. This notification has been, my Lord, the Director General of Police my Lord, has submitted a report before this Honourable Court saying, stating that this uh, my Lord, uh, implementation of, with regard to implementation of Rule 8, my Lord, and uh, uh, a circular has been issued to all the Superintendent of Police. That, that is on the larger aspect of my Lord. Now, what happened? Whether any compensation was given to the family of the victim? No. Yes. My Lord, uh, police have filed an affidavit. My Lord, saying, my Lord, our, our hands have unfolded. But it's not indicated, my Lord, whether, my Lord, any compensation. It's an anal. My Lord, first thing I will submit before your Lordship, my Lord, compensation has to be given. Exactly. There, my Lord, there are Supreme Court judgments on this. So, my Lord, kindly, my Lord, direct, my Lord, compensation. My Lord, I, my Lord, first thing, my Lord, I say, because this has also come up, my Lord, with a juvenile justice board committee as well, my Lord, this particular matter. My Lord, there are affidavits, my Lord, which have been filed, my Lord, by the state, my Lord, also, my Lord, owning up, my Lord, two, my Lord, uh, uh, violations. There is, my Lord, an affidavit by the state commission. There is an affidavit, my Lord, by the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. And, my Lord, there is an affidavit by, my Lord, the principal magistrate juvenile justice board. It shows, my Lord, complete unawareness of, my Lord, the relevant statutory provisions and, my Lord, the procedure, my Lord, which is required to be followed. My Lord, so, my Lord, my Lord, I am not going to, my Lord, fight this and I should not because these are not adversarial. My Lord, what has been, my Lord, depicted here depicts, my Lord, a very sorry state of affairs, at least, my Lord, as far as this police station was concerned. My Lord, that's, my Lord, the best case that can be made from the state. But, my Lord, there has been, my Lord, subsequent to that, my Lord, uh, disciplinary proceedings, my Lord, initiated, demobilization, my Lord, of, my Lord, volunteers who were, my Lord, put in charge of the child, my Lord, instead of, my Lord, police officers, my Lord, uh, on dereliction of duty, my Lord, disciplinary proceedings have culminated, post-mortem report, my Lord, has come, my Lord, the, my Lord, uh, uh, my Lord, uh, report from, my Lord, FSL also has come, now the conclusion, my Lord, is that it is suicide. My Lord, nothing, my Lord, there were no injuries, my Lord, found other than, my Lord, the ligature. Then, my Lord, third thing, my Lord, is, my Lord, uh, compensation. My Lord, that, my Lord, your Lordships, my Lord, will. Now, what are the parents, where are they? They are from Birbhum. Yes. They are, uh, what, agricultural is? So what my Lord, is... my Lord, uh, they are poor. My Lord, job has been provided, my Lord, a temporary job, my Lord, to the father, my Lord, in the panchayat. My Lord, we've annexed one copy of, my Lord, that engagement. But, my Lord, over and above that, there has to be compensation. And I, my Lord, leave that to your Lordships. My Lord, on, my Lord, the quantum, my Lord, the affidavit which has been filed, my Lord, by the National Commission, mm. my Lord, with regard to compensation, my Lord, your Lordships will find, my Lord, page 20, the last annexure. My Lord, this is an affidavit. No, this is only an order book is there. We don't have any annexures. My Lord, I'll tell your Lordship. Well, it's so much. So. My Lord, this was a so much matter, my Lord. So, my Lord, there is... My Lord, affidavits have been filed in the SOAP automat. <laughs> my Lord, it's an affidavit of one G. Suresh. Yes. My Lord, which was affirmed in December got uh, it. 2021. Yes, my Lord, I don't think it's paginated, but the annexures at least, but kindly come to the last annexure. 
annexure D mallard, it's marked as annexure D. Mallard where certain statistics regarding compensation, etc., are given, and your lodges find mallard. In the paragraph 10 also, Mallard at page 8. So this is uh, death in police station. Yes. So if it is a custodial death as per the recommendation, it is 6 lakhs. My lord, this was my lord. And for what was the reason he was picked up? My lord, theft. Theft, my lord. 1.5 lakh rupees theft. I know, my lord, it's horrible. My lord, uh, my lord, uh, these were. And he was the only person involved or a group? Only, only, only. My lord. My lord, my lord. First petition says that there were several. And the others were. So, in the, in your petition, my lord, what is the relief you have sought for? My lord, the relief, uh, my lord, uh, two aspects of the matter, lordship investigation into the offence, my lord, compensation, that is your lordship. Compensation we will fix now. My lord, our, our main relief that we sought, my lord, that this particular rule should be implemented and my lord, no child should be apprehended and no FIR should be lodged against then the child. They have to issue a... Uh, no, a notification. A notification has been issued, my lord, by the Director General of Police. to see that it is implemented? My lord, to... Two officers, my lord. One, the officer in charge of the respective police stations, and my lord, the another stakeholder, important stakeholder, is the my lord, principal magistrates of the juvenile justice board. My lord, they would be the first person to see whether an FIR has been lodged or not, whether a child has been apprehended by the police or not. So, my lord, the principal magistrate of the juvenile justice boards, my lord, are very important stakeholders in this in for implementation of this rule, my lord. This is my humble. My lord, submission before your lordship. And my lord, they have filed an affidavit. My lord, also my lord, blaming the state. The magistrate, my lord, your lordship will find. She is a judicial officer. My lord, uh, Ms. Orpita Ghosh. She has affirmed an affidavit. And my lord, rule. Orpita Ghosh, yes. She is the principal magistrate, Juvenile Justice Board, Birbu. Paragraph 6, page 3. In that... Uh, Urpita Ghosh is evident. Yes. Provisions are there, sir. Who is to implement? Who is to implement? This DG notification, my lord, must reach the police station as your lordship. What fell from your lordship in the other matter? Oh, it's all published. See, uh, regular sensitization program is being conducted. I read in the papers also my lord. the other day. In fact, judicial academies of the respective states are doing such my lord. process, are inviting police officers. And uh, the, the National Police Academy in Hyderabad, they conduct regular sensitization programs. Our uh, uh, judicial officers go as resource persons there. It's all there, but it needs to get into... My Lord, my Lord. My Lord, there are, there are two things, my Lord. One is, I think, public awareness is also, my Lord, very important. It's not just, my Lord, the, the officers here. And secondly, my Lord, uh, this should be more, my Lord, uh, uh, my Lord, the top brass really attend, my Lord, these... Uh, my lord conferences but my lord what happens is my lord at the ground level mm. where we have my lord the uh, my lord the lower ranked my lord uh, uh, police they need person. to be sensitized they my lord they, that is where the uh, sensitization my lord needs to my lord happen because this is absolutely my lord what has happened my lord is unforgivable If my lords may kindly... In fact, the, all the prayers sought for has to be allowed. The mandam prohibition has to be allowed. Mandam is... Uh, but of course, you say, the AG says the disciplinary action has been taken. Yes. And uh, they have been suspended. 
my lord two volunteers demobilized the others my lord were suspended during the course of disciplinary disciplinary hearing my lord orders have also been passed my lord uh, meeting out punishment what will be the nature my lord it is supposedly my lord one of the higher penalties my lord i checked my lord i would have expected something more my lord i found my lord one year foregoing of pay which apparently my lord in my lord the police regulations my lord is uh, lucky they didn't give him promotion <laughs> Oh, you want us to keep the reputation pending or we can issue directions? The lordships can issue direction, but your lordship kindly considers if my lord, the all the juvenile justice boards, because my lord, we I have visited certain uh, boards. My lord, I have seen that my lord guidelines are published, guidelines are my lord, uh, my lord uh, displayed for my lord police to do certain acts and not to do certain acts. My lord, if in that guidelines, my lord, one line that no FIR in cases of petty and serious offences, no apprehension except for heinous offences. These two guidelines, if my lord goes to all the police station, my lord, my lord, a lot of my lord, uh, at least the principle of diversion, my lord, uh, in the act, my lord, that will start, that will commence. So, except in accordance with the provisions of the Journal Justice Act, it cannot be done. My lord, that's it. My Lord, may I hand up the rules, my Lord? Uh, you just uh, Lord. indicate the relevant too rules. Too late, my Lord. There are two writ petitions. One filed by <laughs> a public Sir. interest litigation uh, litigant, Arjit oh, Adhikari. Sorry. And the other is a Suomoto writ petition entertained by this court. The matter concerns the unnatural death of a teenager in the Malar Malarpur M A L L E A R P U R Police Station, Birbhum District. Various orders have been passed from time to time, and uh, reports have been filed by the and uh, affidavits have been filed by the direction director. Of the assistant director of the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, chairperson of the West Bengal Commission for Protection of Child Rights, and the principal magistrate, Juvenile Justice Board, Birbu. Apart from that, a factual report has also been submit, submitted by the additional chief secretary to the government of West Bengal, Home and Hill Affairs Department. On going through these reports and the factual matrix shows a sorry state of affairs in which a young boy of 15 years died in police custody. There are two aspects which have, have uh, which have been pointed out in the public interest in, in both the writ petition. Firstly, as to how the police officers have to be sensitized and what are the directions which need to be issued to them. The second aspect is with regard to payment of compensation to the family of the victim boy. We take up the second issue first. The is the connection is just uh... But annexure D, Miller, to Miller, the affidavit of Miller, the uh, National, National yes. Commission Miller. Um, with uh, the Palestine yes. Miller of that affidavit. Uh, the speak. affidavit filed on behalf of the National Commission for <laughs> Protection of Child Rights gives an indication as to how the monetary relief, relief has to be computed in cases of death in police custody. Um, the NHRC has recommended, uh, NHRC during October 2021 has made certain recommendations. Yes. My Lord, it's a National Commission for my Lord. Oh, yes. NCPCR. No, no. No, no. NHRC. This recommendation is by Correct. NHRC. Uh, the NHRC has recommended, you know, in October 2021, the NHRC has recommended monetary relief to various nature of incidents. And with regard to custodial death in police custody, the custodial death within bracket police, uh, 
the amount of compensation recommended is rupees 6 lakhs. Um, the learned advocate general has submitted that the, the, the policemen who are stationed uh, in the said police station as well as the volunteers have been pro proceeded against and disciplinary action had been initiated against the police officers and penalty has also been and order of punishment has also been issued. But however, it appears that the order of punishment is stoppage of pay for a year, which in our opinion was thoroughly inadequate con considering the the, uh, the gravamen of the charge. Uh, the father of the victim boy is said to have been offered a temporary job in a panchayat and the family is living below poverty line. Thus, considering the all the aspects, we are of the view. Uh, we are of the view. Hmm? We are of the view that a sum of rupees fifteen lakhs shall be paid as compensation to the family of the victim boy. This uh, this uh, uh, this amount has been quantified so by taking note of various factors, including the factor including the fact that the recommendation of NHRC recommending 6 lakhs for uh, 6 lakhs monetary relief for custodial death within bracket police was in the year 2021 and compensation is being ordered by this court uh, in 2023 thus we direct the state of west bengal the government of west bengal to pay a sum of rupees 15 lakhs to the family of the victim boy within a period of 15 days from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order. The second, the, the other aspect of the matter is as to how what directions are required to be issued uh, to the to sensitize the police authorities so that such incidents should not recur. We find that the prayer sought for in the in WPA within bracket P9 of 2020, 2020 are just and proper and all the directions sought for are to be granted as such. The learned advocate appearing for the said writ petitioner has brought to the notice of this court the relevant rules uh, framed by the state government, namely the West Bengal Juvenile Justice within bracket care and protection of children bracket close rules 2017. Rule 8 occurring, uh, rule 8 in chapter 3 of the set rules deals with the procedure in relation to children in conflict with law. The, the set, set rule clearly uh, enumerates as to what steps are to be taken and what should not be done uh, uh, when a child is apprehended uh, on the alleged ground that he or she is in conflict with law. In terms of subrule 3. Subrule 1, my lord. In no term, FIR, it starts. Uh, in terms of subrule 1 of rule 8, no first information report shall be registered except where a heinous offence is alleged to have been committed by the child <laughs> or when such offence is alleged to have been committed jointly with adults. In full stop. In all other matters, come the special juvenile police unit or the child welfare police officer shall record the information regarding the offence alleged to have been committed by the child in the general daily diary followed by a social background report of the child and circumstances under which the child was apprehended, comma, wherever applicable, comma, and forwarded to the board before the first hearing. And my lord, the proviso. The, prov the proviso under rule 8 within bracket 1 states that the power to apprehend 
shall only be exercised with regard to heinous offences, comma unless it is in the best interest of the child. Full stop. For all other cases involving petty and serious offences, and cases where apprehending the child is not necessary in the interest of the child, comma the police or special juvenile police unit or child welfare police officer shall forward the information regarding the nature of offence alleged to be committed by the child along with the social background uh, report to the board and intimate the parents or guardian of, of the child as to when the child is to be produced for the first hearing before the board. Full stop. A police officer of SJPU, preferably not below the rank of sub-inspector, should apprehend the child. Full stop. In case of a female child, a male police officer needs to be accompanied by a woman. Subrule 2 of Rule 8 states that when a child alleged to be in conflict with law is apprehended by the police, comma, the police officer concerned shall place the child un under the charge of the special juvenile police unit or the child welfare police officer who shall Im immediately uh, uh, inform, please quote, 1, 2, 3, page 63. I'll mark it. Yes. Rules, subrule 3 is also a very important provision uh, which the police officers have to note. In terms of the said rule, the police officer apprehending a child alleged to be in conflict with law shall uh, Further, in terms of subrule sub 4, the child welfare police officer shall be in plain clothes and not in uniform. In terms of subrule 5, the child welfare police officer shall, re shall record the social background of the child and the circumstances of apprehending in every case of alleged involvement of the child in an offence uh, in, in a form without stigmatizing the child, which shall be forwarded to the board. Uh, forthwith. In terms of Rule 6, a list of all designated child welfare police officers, comma, women police stations, child welfare officers, probationer officers, paralegal volunteers, district legal service authority, etc., and registered voluntary and non governmental organization in district, comma, Principal Magistrate and members of the Board, members of the Special Juvenile Police Unit and Child Line Services with contact details shall be prominently displayed in every police station. In terms of Rule Subrule 7, when a child is released in a case where apprehending of the child is not warranted, come the parents or guardians or a fit person in whose custody the child alleged to be in conflict with law is placed in the best interest of the child, comma, shall furnish an undertaking on a non-judicial paper in Form 2 to ensure their presence on the dates during inquiry or proceedings before the board. In terms of subrule 8, the state government shall maintain a panel of voluntary and non-voluntary governmental organizations uh, to provide services of probation, counseling, etc. In terms of subrule 9, the state government shall provide funds for the police or special juvenile police unit or the child welfare police or case worker or person through DCPU for the safety and protection of children and provision of food and basic amenities, including travel cost and emergency medical care to the child apprehended or kept under their charge during the period of such period such child are with them. The other provisions of the rules are also uh, uh, re relevant, which 
we will not elaborate in this order <clears throat> the re reason for pointing out as to what are the procedure to be followed by the police in relation to children in conflict with law we have given a glimpse of the pre production action of the police and other agencies full stop it is the duty on the part of the state to sensitize all its police officers on the their duties and responsibilities under the provisions of the juvenile justice act juvenile justice care and protection of children bracket close act 2017 and the west bengal rules 2017 <clears throat> the rules are in place but all that is required is to implement the rules and to sensitize the police officers about the duties which they have to discharge while dealing with children in conflict with law we trust and hope that the state government takes the directions and observations passed in this order in the right spirit and issues appropriate guidelines uh, giving wide publicity and ensure that all police stations carry the necessary information as man mandated under the act and rules C conduct periodic uh, sensitization programs uh, to all police officers irrespective of whether they are man a yeah, juvenile justice uh, uh, yeah, they man a yeah, special police team or a yeah, women police station um, at this juncture it will be of beneficial to refer to certain paragraphs of the affidavit filed by the principal magistrate juvenile justice board birbu wherein uh, the relevant provisions of the act uh, have been set out uh, provisions of the act and the rules have been set out so this is i will put this pink tag okay it's three page four up to page five the above statutory provision should also be taken note of by the concerned authorities while conducting sensitization program uh, uh, for the police officers as to how to how they should discharge their duties while dealing with children in conflict with law um, the above directions shall be taken note of by the appropriate authority of the state government and uh, effective procedures be put in place uh, and the state can also formulate a standard operating procedure within bracket sop as a guidance note as a guidance note to all the police officers while dealing with uh, children in conflict with law the above directions shall be com complied with as expeditiously as possible preferably within a period of 3 months from the date of receipt of the Let's kindly copy. take up page 20 of the swomo to pil which is a list of respondents hmm. i was praying for a direction please direct the registrar <laughs> administration lnom to communicate this order to respondent numbers 1 2 3 8 10 and 11 once again sir. page 20 of the swomo to paragraph 8 paragraph 8 1 2 3 the hmm, uh, registry is directed to communicate a copy of this order to the following authorities please make it specific registrar administration lnom okay registrar administration lnom 
one, two, three, eight, ten, eleven. Lord, I don't know if 13, 14, 15 have to be given, but my Lord, it's, that's it. I don't think my Lord, that's. That is sufficient. One, two, three, hmm? page 20 and 20. eight, 10 and 11. Yes. Eight is also required, my Lord. He's yes, we have included. Eight, 10. My Lord, kindly add the Commissioner of Police, Calcutta as well. My Lord, because there are two, my Lord, separate streams. One is Director oh, General. And also and he... the Commissioner of Police, Kolkata. And my Lord, one other thing. My Lord, I had said one year pay, one year, my Lord, annual increment of pay. Annual increment, not my Lord, one, one year, year annual. <laughs> I've, my Lord, this is it's what's It's a minor penalty, sir. It's a minor penalty. Lord, if it's without cumulative effect, it's a minor penalty. He's rewarding this fellow. It says, I said stoppage of pay, no one year, no. It is stoppage of one increment for a period of one year, one annual increment. Yes. And, and both your petitions are disposed of. Disposed of. Nothing. I'm grateful, man. Thank you. This book we'll retain for them. My Lord, uh, and Thank then you. we'll return. Serial number 218 and 219. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. Games. Yes. Yes. Lord, I am appearing for the army. This is uh, a Suomoto public interest litigation as well as another application made by uh, my Lord, my Lord, Mr. Shubhas 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 Mr. Shubhas my Lord, uh, read petition, my Lord, was my Lord disposed of hmm. with a direction, my Lord, to make an application in the, my Lord, Suomoto matter. Rather than, my Lord, have, my Lord, there's an order to that effect. Um, he has filed an application. He has filed an application, my Lord. My Lord he had filed WPA 33. 2021. We'll allow this application. My Lord, there is one more, one more aspect. There has been another application by public in the in an earlier order and who appears for this red petitioner he is not appearing today no my lord my lord this is a suomoto this is a suomoto uh, red petitioner my lord subhash was petition. appearing in person my lord uh, so my lord uh, oh, oh, what is the suomoto about the maidan maidan area sir? Maidan, my lord, with regard to Maidan area, my lord, my lords are pleased to set up a committee consisting of the learned ASG as well as the learned architecture, along with all uh, the other officers of the state for the purpose of parking, etc., in and around Maidan and the upkeep of the Maidan, apart from parking, my lord. Now, consequent there too, there have been few app few applications. And probably Shubhas Tattu has filed this application with the with regard to those upkeep, etc. He had filed a separate application. Now that has been now tagged. Now he has filed two applications. One is to recall the order passed in his writ petition, yes. saying that go and intervene in the Suomoto. One is to intervene in the Suomoto. Yes. So if he loses that, still he can hang on to this. Yes. But where is Mr. Tattu? He hasn't. He isn't appearing today, my lord. Yesterday also there were few matters of AC. He didn't appear yesterday. No. And now, what is the position? Nobody can park in that area. No, no, my lord. Well, there are applications with regard to parking, my lord. These club clubs. tents. There are several clubs, my lord, oh, yes. at the Maidan. Football clubs. My lord, what, my lord, happens, my lord, is if anybody parks inside, it's fine. Hmm. But my lord, generally, my lord, on a regular basis, my lord, parking is not allowed. Not it's only when we have my lord a cricket match, mm. my lord, at Eden Gardens, or my lord, we have my lord pilgrims going to Sagar Island, 
that my lord this that uh, vacant land is used my lord as, is used for that my lord particular day but my lord on a general basis my lord right through my lord no parking has been my lord allowed my lord the the land is owned by the army hmm. my lord the question was my lord with regard to upkeep and my lord an apprehension of construction coming up now what what does the writ petitioner want what does the what is the prayer sought for my lord, by mr dattu my lord he had pointed out certain areas of the maidan my lord which were not being kept properly so my lord that that aspect and the of maintenance the maintenance is with the army no my lord not just the army my lord kolkata my lord, my lord the pwd and my lord kolkata municipal corporation has also come and said it might be better if my lord kolkata municipal corporation is given a bigger role than my lord the public works department but uh, they the land is vested with the army no they have agreed my lord on this uh, in, there's no difficulty in the, in the meeting in the meeting of the of the committee my lord it has been certain points have been agreed upon mm. my lord thereafter uh, this application has been my lord only one more thing since the committee is still existing my lord the uh, since the uh, additional solicitor general has changed my lord i will kindly uh, what is the order date date of the order my lord the Where date is... of the order my lord is 21st december 2020 Alert in WPA P sixteen of twenty twenty, read the Maidan Suomoto Public Interest Review. November twenty first December twenty twenty. Kindly have a look at that order, my lord. It is wrong. It is wrong. Yes. Yes, this in but in this order, this committee was not constituted. No, next one, next, next one, my lord. Which is my lord? Twenty uh, fourth December, twenty twenty. Yes. Yeah, I think twenty fourth. Next one. Another one. Another one. Yeah, yeah. So, can this committee meet once more? Yes, yes, of course, my lord. My lord, in between there was a gap. My lord, after Mr. Dastu, my lord had stepped down. My lord, the last meeting, my lord, uh, we've had, my lord, some time ago. Yes, quite a long time. All right. These two, please take down. These two petitions. Ah, Set to the maintenance of maintenance, upkeep, and protection of the Maidan area. By order dated twenty fourth December twenty twenty. The committee was constituted consisting of the learned advocate general, the yeah. learned additional solicitor general, who, who were requested to coordinate with the highest state officials and the army authorities to chalk out a plan for regular maintenance and cleaning of the brigade parade ground and the extended greens, comma, including the areas around the club tents, extending up to. Shahid Minar to the north, Tama the edge of Fort William to the west, Chowringi to the east, and Circular Road to the south. It it appears that it has been quite some time since the committee met, and in the in the interim, there has been a change of the learned additional solicitor general. Therefore, uh, we direct. That the committee constituted by the order dated twenty fourth December twenty twenty may convene one uh, yeah, convene a meeting in which they will discuss all aspects of the matter and submit submit a comprehensive report to this court to enable the court to issue appropriate directions. List the matter something in May or June twenty. 
June after vacation. One week after vacation, my lord, your lordship is kindly. We'll say my monthly list of June. My lord, kindly don't make it monthly list. I may not be joining okay. on the first day, my lord. Kindly, my lord. Uh, my lord keeps it for uh, monthly list of July then. But okay. in the meantime, in the meantime, probably uh, they, monthly list of July. The meetings might take place and thereafter. Usually we have it, my lord, in the army premises, my lord, who have a theater. My lord, where my lord? Uh, Yes, I'm grateful, my lord. Serial number 220. Yes, 20. Nobody is appearing over here. Here, for him. None appears for the petitioner. Even on the last occasion, that is on 14th February 2023, none appeared for the petitioner. Hence, dismissed for now. He wants a blanket relief to remove everything. Without Excuse me, incident owner, item number six. I am coming from hospital. Dismissed for default. Lord, please restore this. Which one, item? Item number six. Item six. Ah. Why you are not present? Lord, I am in a hospital. Hospital. What is that matter about? Matter in a field matter, meter, that is a Devotur property in question. Several dispute was raised and FIR also lost. I filed a representation before the district magistrate and also the all authority concerned. All right. We'll say item six not today. Yes. Serial number 221. Yes. 221, I beg to appear on behalf of the petitioners. Okay. My lord, it's a custodial death at Hooghly District, my lord, district jail. My lord, a lady prisoner, my lord, was there and 37 years old. <coughs> my lord, during the, my lord, outbreak of COVID, lord, Chief, my lord, she has been transferred from Kolkata to <coughs> district jail. <coughs> Thereafter, my lord, she was kept there in solitary confinement. My lord, taking the name of my lord, precautionary arrangement because of COVID breakout after two, three days. And thereafter, my lord, in the name of administrative segregation, she was kept, my lord, in isolation 64 days, which is contrary to the provision of the jail code. My lord, that being the situation, and my lord, Yes. Well, after this jail death was taken place. It appears Mr. Omitesh Banerjee is representing the state in this matter. May it be taken up any other day, Lord. I'll inform him, ensure he must. But, uh, <clears throat> Serial number 221. No affidavit has been filed. No, my lord. Lord Chief. Any affidavit has been filed? No, my lord. The first at the outset, my lord, there was a direction for filing report. Report has been filed. We have taken exception. Thereafter, my lord, when the matter is going on, my lord, learned advocate, my lord, belongs to the state authority, my lord, draws the attention of this honorable court. The Human Rights Commission, National Commission, had taken up this issue. And my lord, that, my lord, taken up the issue, the report of the Human Rights Commission placed before this honorable court. The Human Rights Commission observed compensation is required to be given. Our humble submission, my lord, a lady, my lord, aged about vulnerable age, aged about 37 years, as to how and why, under what circumstances, kept in isolation, in solitary confinement, taking the name of administrative segregation. My lord, we have raised this question. We are, my lord, anticipating, my lord, is a local organization. This organization belongs to the human rights, championing the cause of human rights. My lord, the foul play may be there, my lord. That is why, my lord, the law is very specific. When a lady, my lord, prisoner will be in the uh, incarcerated, my lord, the, what is required to be done in terms of the jail court. My lord, without complying the provision laid down and the different provision of the jail court, my lord, this administrative segregation was ensured. 
and okay. see my lord committed suicide finally my lord they have taken this particular plea the lady constable was deputed there and he was reluctant my lord uh, to discharge the duty properly as a result of which these things had taken place my lord the provision of the law is my lord when my lord the jail inmate lady inmate stays there alone my lord one of the jail staff will be there with her my lord in so the night the affidavit says lordship 4 lakh 75000 was given as compensation uh, that compensation part the compensation part my lord we may raise a question of compensation issue my lord whether it is sufficient or not since it is a custodial death so what, what happened to the investigation investigation my lord we don't know that report is required to be given my lord and my lord our humble submission late my lord neutral agency may not be central agency may be given my lord responsibility to look into the whole issue no who is who, who has registered a case my lord the registered case my lord police superintendent my lord which responded jail superintendent i'm showing who's in, who's presently inquiring into the matter my lord that 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 part is my lord is uh, the state is required to clear this part my lord all right yes. that is the reason we would i say i'm not briefed in this matter and let mr banerji assist your lordship on okay, any other day we have heard so and so it is submitted that uh, mr banerji is a senior advocate amitesh banerji my lord senior advocate is appearing for the respondent state mr amitesh banerji hmm? uh, who is not uh, able to be present today and adjournment is sought for on his behalf next week absolutely i am grateful my lord Deep next up. week in the day Deep yes. Yes. Sir, no, you give it to <clears throat> <clears throat> Serial number two hundred twenty-two. I am for the petition, my lord. Not the petition, my lord. The petition, my lord, has complained that there are the people who are suffering from the middle west middle of it. There are the people who are hurt and brand damp, my lord, encroaching which, my lord, the private respondents with others, my lord, have constructed, my lord, illegal construction, and my lord, who will have been, my lord, from page number, my lord, page. 27 of the writ petition lord several representation have been made to the authority concerned lord they have no you are not considering the representation no no why do you require a direction he says that illegal construction is being put and you keep sit tight on all these representation which is the latest representation lord representation is lord are in bengali i have given the lord english translation lord by supplementary video it it is lord is in your lord says no what is page 27 lord page 27 is the lord they are later Huh. That they are saying that uh, please demolish the same, but they are not doing so. They are all not, after yeah, issuing this letter. The subdivision law, sir. They only passed this order, but no action has been taken. Now, uh, the subdivision officer has directed which authority to demolish? The no. The person concerned. Only the person concerned. He is he has not. You see, it says Vimal Jana is a third party. No, he is a private respondent. He is concerning with the associates. Then why are you are only Vimal only, only issuing letter? No, no steps. Sir, please come. This by this public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks for appropriate directions to remove the unauthorized encroachment put up by the private respondent. Uh, based on the representation given by the petitioner, the subdivision officer. Gatal Irrigation Subdivision, Kama Irrigation and Waterways uh, Department, uh, Irrigation and Waterways DT Directorate, Directorate, Directorate. Directorate uh, Government of West Bengal, by communication dated 1st August 2019, addressed to Sri Bimal Jana. And other persons are there also. Kama the private respondent, one of the private respond, no. the 10th respondent to remove the unauthorized and illegal encroachment failing which administrative action will be taken for removing the same from 2019 the said of the authority has not taken any further direction which has prompted the petitioner to approach this court it appears that till date the unauthorized construction continues to exist no by other persons also the construction has not only put up by, by the 10th respondent but also uh, but it is alleged that it has also been put up by the 11th and 12th respondent and also others and others being encouraged by there uh, though the private respondents have been served none appears for the private respondent in any event 
the subdivision officer of the Gatala Irrigation Subdivision, having found the constructions to be illegal and unauthorized, comma, it is the bounden duty of the authority to proceed further to remove the construction. In fact, notice has been issued to the private respondent to remove the construction. And if he has not done so, then it goes without saying that the authority should take appropriate action. In the light of the above, there will be a direction to the subdivisional officer, so on, so on, so on. Lord Ajmer, respond on Lord 5. Come on, the fifth respondent, to take further action pursuant to his memo number 357, Slash WBIW. DMAB slash also directed me to respond on 4. Date on 1st August 2019. And if unauthorized and illegal construction has been put up, either by the private respondents or by others, come on, after issuing notice, uh, action be taken to remove the unauthorized and illegal construction. Yes. Uh, the ninth respondent police. The ninth respondent, namely the officer in charge, Daspur Police Station, My Lord. is directed to give adequate protection to the authorities to carry out yes. the directions yes. issued in this order. Yes. This direction be carried out as expeditiously as possible. Uh, no, no, no. This direction be carried out within a period of uh, two months from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order. Next. This post. Serial number 223. I am appearing on behalf of respondent number 16, 17, 18. I am appearing on behalf of the respondent number 22 to 24, my lord. Hmm. My lord, this petition is against illegal filling of water body appearing at page 21. Your lordship will find that at LR plot number 25. This is and which is the authority which has to take the action? Uh, Bill and LR, my lord. Block land and Block land, land and land reforms officer, officer, my lord. And what is and his stand? The stand for is that at page 24, your lord. for the private respondent. I am private respondent. And what is your stand? My lord, the so only same set cause of action, the earlier retreat is disposed of, my lord. Mr. But did no action taken, what to do? Absolutely. Therefore, he has come forward. Not. My lord, Dova. In respect of Dova, remains die throughout the year, my lord. It's agriculture land, my lord. My lord, I, I satisfy before your... All right. Scene, my lord. No, no. CLJ, no, no. CLJ 128. Let the authority take action. What, Ms. Ghosh? Yes, my lord. Absolutely. Why you are not taking any action? Rina. He says illegally filling up the, the water body and he has given to uh, the representation of the Division Commissioner, Presidency Division, Haura. How are you, if uh, it is within the municipal area, Malad, then Malad, the municipality will be Malad. And if it is within the Malad, the Howra, Malad, the rural area, then Malad, the, then be allowed. This is Malad. within Gram Panchat, Shakari, the Malad. Uh, Which authority should take action? BLN LRO, my lord. Already BLN LRO has, yeah, Lordship Kandi takes up page 30, 28 first. No, they will issue notice to the rest. Yes, they have notice, issued That's notice. They are, and page 29, your lordship will find it disposed of. And if it is found that it has been illegally done, it will be also demolished. Yes, in fact, on page 28, the BL and LR, uh, Domjur, uh, Domjur, D O M, Domjur, 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 Domjur is correct. In 2016, he has issued notice. And then at page 29, it has been held that you have hereby. Directed to stop such activities and restore all port plots at the last paragraph. At the last paragraph at page 29, your lordship will find there is a specific direction that within 10 days restoration should be done. Government leader, why no action has been taken pursuant to the notice? Issued under Section 4C of the West Bengal Land Reforms Act. It has not been done, Malad. I, I tend to Malad because I'll have to take instructions. Malad. What instructions? I'm an officer at that point, but I need to take it. But what I think, Malad, if there's a determination, my learned friends have not preferred an appeal. It does not seem so. The private respondent. Against what? And against if there has been a determination, Malad, because I am I'm very handicapped because I don't. Determination. This is a notice issued. For illegal conversion under 4C of the West Bengal Land yes, Reform Act. Yes, then well, there has to be, well, it should have been heard out and uh, steps should have been taken. This but kindly pass it in the under the, if the uh, area falls within the jurisdiction of the panchayat, 
who is the authority under the Dilla 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 Show us the notification. Yeah. Let me come back. Well, let's say, oh, no, because, no. because I am here because I will point out. Malad. Malad, these are old matters which have come up. Malad, Malad, Malad is empowered and accordingly they, he has issued authority. notice. Malad. We are not concerned with the matter with the authority yeah. under the Inland Fisheries Act to act That's as the competent authority under Section 17, Capital A 17. of the West Bengal Inland Fisheries Act. Not sure. If it's within the municipal corporation, it's the Corporation. Yes, yes. If it's within the municipality, it's the municipality. And if but, it is within the panchayat, who is the authority? I think it's a DLRO, but I'm not too sure on it. Kindly allows me. DLRO or, or the, the BDO. Or the BDO. Inland Fisheries Act. He will take yeah. up Inland Fisheries Act. This, Miller, this right. public interest litigation. The petitioner seeks for appropriate action pursuant to the action already initiated by the fourth respondent, uh, namely the block land and land reforms officer, Domjur Haura, by his memo dated 1st uh, March 2016. Based on a complaint given by the petitioner, action has been initiated and notices have been issued to the private respondents for illegally filling of a yeah, water body. The authority, the state authority has directed that uh, that uh, the plots have to be restored to the original condition within 10 days from the date of the notice, dated 10th March, 10th April 2016. However, it appears till date, no action has been taken, though there are, uh, there are, uh, though there was an inquiry notice which was issued on 21 6 2016 considering the stalemate in the matter we direct the fourth respondent to proceed further in accordance with law and dab and and if he is the authority come on no i am not the private respondent i have been quoted and that is page in uh, um, uh, to uh, and um, and uh, take appropriate action in accordance with the provisions of the West Bengal Land Reforms Act, 1955. The appropriate authority under the said Act shall consider the petitioner's representation. Ah, the, uh, the, the authority, the competent authority under the Inland Fisheries Act, West Bengal Inland Fisheries Act, shall consider the petitioner's representation dated 14th January 2020 and proceed to take action within a period of 30 days from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order. In order to uh, have effective compliance of this direction, the petitioner is directed to forward a copy of the representation and dated so and so, along with a copy of the order to the fourth respondent as well as the competent authority under the West Bengal Inland Fisheries Act for due complaints. Deeply. Disposed of. Next. Serial number 224. Lordship. Lordship, uh, the Learned Council, Mr. Oshit Boran Rao, while coming to court this morning, his car met a fatal accident and he has not come to court today. I'm only praying for not today. Nobody appears to the respondent. No, Lordship. Not today. 
Great philosophy. Two hundred twenty-five. And I am for the state one. May I beg you, sir? Can you ask a petition? Ma'am, Lord, this is challenging the virus. Section ninety-six, Millet, of the CGST Act, Millet, saying that it is ultra virus to Article fourteen, twenty-one, and fifty, Millet. The constitution of the authority for advance ruling millet. Millet affidavits have been exchanged. What I am humbly submitting, millet. I, the petitioner is not here, millet. Mr. Saraf is the petitioner, Mr. Saraf is the Mr. petitioner, no, millet. Is... Having a bunch of judgments, millet. No, ma <laughs> Mr. Rajendra Kumar Duggar happens to be the petitioner. No, no. Amar Gajal. Tarat Chand. Tarat Chand. Petitioner Saraf. Amar, this is he wants a judicial member in a manner advance ruling authority, millet. That is one of the, he says one of the authority, but that section is bad because of the administrative authority member is one of the running the one of the, so one of the, it should have been one replaced by the, or the judicial. Basically, Miller, Article 50, he is relying upon. No, in terms of the decision, the Madras the, 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 Association case, you have to have a judicial mind. Miller, this matter lastly appeared before your lordships in 2020, Miller, and I was not briefed in the matter. Subsequently, there too, Miller, the learned uh, erstwhile additional solicitor general was appearing, Miller. I've been been briefed recently, Miller. This is my first. Right. You get Millard ready for the matter. Yes, Miller. I shall get ready, Miller. Will give me a breather, Miller. The request of the learned advocates for the respondent. Put it up in May month. My lord has been pleased to me. Millard may be uh, put up um, after vacation, Millard. If let it come in May. Otherwise, Millard, I... Mr. Saraf will say it's gone out of the list. It's gone out. So let it come in May. We'll see. <laughs> Today also, Mr. Saraf is not. But be that as it may. I'm grateful, Millard. My Lord. Serial number 226. Lord, I have for the uh, petitioner. Hmm. Here, my Lord, the, I have filed a read petition, my Lord, the public interest litigation. The allegation is that, my Lord, the Local area in respect of Mobisia, the illegal Malot, uh, Malot the illegal Malot, uh, the narcotics Malot business is Malot, uh, che, carrying on by the local people. Malot the pursuant to the direction of this honorable court, Malot the in, uh, che, report filed by the, uh, che, Malot, the Howrah district Malot police. Hmm. But we specifically mention in my read petition that the investigation should be going on in respect of Mobisia local. And in the report, I have taken an exception. Pursuant to Malad, the order passed by this honorable court, the police authority has not given proper report. I have Malad specific name. I have indicated to the police authority. These are the person to carrying the illegal business. Malad, the, in spite of specific allegation, Malad, police authority has not taken in cognizance uh, against them. Malad, I have Malad filed a uh, uh, supplementary. Malad, the uh, supplementary filed. On my lot, my lot, the January 2021, my lot, can you... No, in the, in the public interest repetition, you can't be naming a couple of people. You can ask for a larger relief. No. Please, no. please constitute a special team. Yes, but that I pray. When the read petition, I prayed. In the supplementary, my lot, the, when the police authority given a lot, the entire Howrah districts, my lot, the uh, uh, cognizance taken, but I mentioned no, no, if, if you have to constitute for the state, My Lord. you have to constitute for all, at least six districts, not, uh, not uh, 24 Parganas, Purlia, Birbhum, Vardhaman, all districts which are bordering, you have to constitute. I the whole team, 100,000 police officers. I, my, my humble. The border is porous, sir. The my border Lord. is porous. Yes, yes, my Lord. My Lord, my kindly, so my this prayer. is a very large relief you are asking. No, I am, I am not kindly see my, Lord, my prayer for a prayer. We saw a. the prayer. We saw the prayer. My Lord, prayer A, my Lord. I have my Lord, prayer for. a special investigation, investigation team, to, team check. to check up the grievance of the complaint. So the made regarding the illegal business and that uh, my Lord, transaction of the narcotic substance submit detailed report before this honorable. But the, they have got a separate uh, narcotic investigation bureau. NIB is not here. But that, that has not been done. My Lord, can you see their my Lord, report? Filed by them. Where, where? My Lord, kindly see. Sir, that report is by inspector in charge. Yes. But it should be at a higher level. My Lord, my humble submission also, also sir. No, where is your representation? My Lord, my representation, my Lord, kindly see. 
Right. You give statistics. These are the number of cases which uh, were detected. So many arrests were done in this district, in this district. With that data, you say we will direct them to uh, consider the data well, and constitute a special. My, my Lord, kindly see my uh, supplementary affidavit, my Lord. They have given. They have given, my Lord. The report. Ah, yes. Page seven. Alex, sir, yes, one, my Lord. There is a Malod, two uh, supplementary affidavit. First, Malod, I have translated Malod, from Bengali to Malod, English. And the second supplementary, 2020-21, January, it has been Malod filed. The report filed by the district. Huh? The Kunal Agarwal, Commissioner of Police, Howra Police Commissioner. Uh, Commissioner of Police, Howra has yes. filed a report. Well, and uh, what he has said is, he has listed out 60 cases. Yes, my lord. Both in Howrah Rural and District Police Jurisdiction well. and Howrah Police Commissioner are keeping sharp vigilance over mm -hmm. sale and use of drugs in the respective jurisdiction and on regular intervals, awareness programs against sale and the consumption are organized. Leave is craved for this court to need assistance information or cases in more detail. And they have given a list of officers also. Yes, my lord. But my humble submission here, my lord. My lord, kindly see. Issue. Well, it's a very serious issue. So, my lord, kindly give another my lord, uh, opportunity so I can bring all the documents. No, you place the document before the authority. Kindly see, my lord, my application. They have not accepted my application. That's we will direct them. My lord, kindly. Kindly, 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 my lord, that uh, liberty may be given to me. Yes, so, where, lord, where is I, your application? My, lord, my application is paid page 15. My lord, okay. in, during okay. pendency of this, my lord, the uh, PIL, my lord, I my lord, specifically given a my lord, uh, ch ch chart and my lord, I uh, indicated their names, but in spite of the my lord, face, page 15 of, of supplementary affidavit, which my lord, lord Chief has my lord, just my lord, lord Chief has considered. <laughs> This is urgency my application. My lord, uh, the report. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Supplementary Yes, yes, my lord. Page 15, my lord. Okay. Oh, this is in Varnachi. Yes. Wow, sorry, my lord. I'm sorry, my lord. Yes, my lord. So this is of 2020, my lord. Today, yes. my lord, he, ma he, he will give, sir. Absolutely. Not. From the report, what he says is that, that it, it appears there is no separate narcotic investigation bureau. State Hello. level. There is, my lord. It's a narcotics control bureau. Ah, NCB. Yes, my lord. It is there. Is a Kolkata. Then probably you strengthen that well, based that on is, his inputs. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. This, this, uh, uh, lord, uh, one... by way of this public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks to uh, bring to light the, the rampant sale and distribution of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances, more particularly in the in Haura district of West Bengal. The petitioner, uh, pursuant to directions issued by this court, a joint report was filed by the Commissioner of Police, Haura Police Commissioner, and the superintendent of police, Howrah Rural District. There is no date. No. Rural District. Yes. In the said report, the, uh, the list of cases which have been registered under the provisions of the NDPS Act have been listed out, from which we find that 60 cases have been registered at, at the relevant time, that is prior to July 2020. In the report, it has been stated that both the Haura Rural District Police Jurisdiction and Haura Police Commissioner are keeping sharp vigilance over sale and use of drugs in the respective jurisdiction, uh, respective jurisdiction and on regular intervals, awareness program, uh, regular intervals, uh, and at regular intervals, uh, awareness program against sale and consumption of drugs are organized in both the police districts. The 
the names of the police officers who are in charge have also been given an as an annexation by way of a supplementary affidavit the writ petitioner submits that though the joint report states so still several persons are in, in involved in the illegal transaction of narcotic substances and uh, certain details have been furnished uh, by the petitioner the grievance of the petitioner is that a more uh, um, effective policy is required to prevent the sale and distribution of narcotic substances more particularly in howra district in this regard a representation was given by the petitioner on 30th december 2020 the learned advocate for the petitioner submitted that the petitioner has sufficient material to show that there is rampant distribution rampant sale and distribution of narcotic substances and uh, narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances in in that in howra district and also other neighboring districts uh, since the petitioner seeks for a larger relief and uh, the representation is of the year 2020 come on we are we are of the view that the following direction will meet the ends of justice the writ petition stands disposed of by directing the petitioner to give a comprehensive representation containing full data which is available in his possession to justify his claim that a, a more uh, uh, um, strict vigilance more stricter vigilance has to be con um, uh, conducted uh, in the in the in the howra district uh, to prevent the sale of narcotics uh, drugs and psychotropic substances the learned government council has informed that the state has got a narcotics control bureau if that is so the, then the uh, uh, concerned police authorities shall consider the representation given by the petitioner and um, um, issue necessary orders for effective prevention of the sale and distribution of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances the representation shall be given to the commissioner of police uh, howra uh, police station okay. howra commissioner police commissioner as well as the superintendent of the uh, howra rural uh, howra what is it called ulubadiya one second uh, superintendent of police howra rural district and if uh, such represent and uh, the said representation shall be considered and appropriate orders be passed on merits and accordance with the law Hello. and communicated to the petitioner within a period of the 30 days from the date of receipt of the representation Hello. problem is well the authority is not accepting my application it will suddenly accept it oh, but absolutely well why i am allowed the authority are not accepting my application now they will no <laughs> subject to correction they don't come and file a contempt petition well, that's why well kindly do not dispose of this petition well no, no. kindly otherwise you, you well, don't say what order we need to no absolutely my, my prayer before your lordship well that's because i am facing the order will take care absolutely. for three years you are not be able to obtain any order this order will take the matter forward please listen to us yeah, to serial me. number 227 this poster mala i am for the petitioner uh, the advocate on record is engaging uh, on court number 11 i am praying for not to demand what is the matter about you don't know what is the matter no milad this one removal of encroachment who will appear for the respondents nobody will appear then we will allow the reputation but the state is there but i believe one of the corporation is a party to the main party who is asked to get the alert which corporation respondent number 6 who is respondent number 6 North Dum Dum Municipality, and somebody appeared for respondent number six, Devyan Gosh, and Aziz Azim. I mean, Mr. Nagar. 
Put it in May. Next. Hmm? No, no, no. Month of, at the request of the learner. Serial number 228. Yes. But I prefer the responding number 30. We are appearing for the petitioner, so praying for not to demand. Why? We have not come to demand. We have been requested over phone. This class is standing here. Let us see what relief you want. Suppose we can grant some relief, we will grant you some. The private disputes, Manad, I have taken this. May I file my affidavits, Manad, uh, in you opposition? For the private respondent. I am for respondent number 13. Private respondent number 13. Lord, I am appearing for respondent number 8 to 12. Lord, I have already filed my affidavit in opposition. Lord, on the last occasion, Lord, there was a direction for Lord, to file affidavit, I think. No affidavit in reply has been filed. No, their allegation is all of you have put up illegal construction. Yes. And what is the stand of the municipality? Haura Municipal Corporation, sorry. Who's for the Haura Municipal Corporation? Now, well, lots of kindly see, well, lot, well, lot order dated, well, lot, March 16, well, lot, 2022. Well, lot, now, well, lot, the, the well, lot, uh, area is not under Haura Municipal Corporation. Well, it is now under Bali municipality. Hmm? Now you have de denied their allegation. Yes, yes, that there is no illegal construction. Yes. Then uh, let the uh, uh, let the municipality take appropriate action. Let him issue notice. He is filing an affidavit saying that. Yeah, simple Sir, denial. Person, someone appeared on behalf of the municipality. Mr. Sondipan Ganguly. He is not appearing today. We will direct the municipality to issue notice. Let them produce all the documents to show. Yes, my Yes. By this public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks for appropriate action to be taken against the private respondents on the alleged ground that they have put up illegal construction. The re private respondents have filed affidavits denying the allegations made by the petitioner in total. Uh, since disputed questions of fact are involved in the matter, uh, Kama, the authority concerned, namely the third respondent, namely the Kama, the commissioner uh, of the Haura Municipal Corporation, all right. uh, now it is under Bali Ministry. But Bali Ministry will not has not been added as parting a lot. That is real issue direction. Bali Municipality. Hmm? Uh, what is this? Is it is required to take appropriate action on the petitioner's representation. Uh, um, in the light of the above, come on, there will be a direction to the commissioner of the Bali municipality to issue notices to the private respondents, calling upon them to produce documents to show as to how the construction put up by them is in accordance with law and as to how the they are in possession of the property in question. They are on issuance of such notice, the private respondent shall appear before the commissioner, produce the necessary documents. Thereafter, an inquiry shall be conducted and the writ petitioner shall also be issued notice to be present during the inquiry. Uh, and if the, any illegal construction has been um, um, is found, the concerned authority, the concerned commissioner, shall take appropriate action in accordance with law. This direction shall be complete with within a period of eight weeks from the date of. My contention was twofold contention. Not only the deviating the building plan, but also Malata filling up the water body, Malata. Um, within a period of eight weeks from the uh, server copy. Before that, 
the uh, the commissioner shall also take note of the allegation made by the petitioner that a water body has been filled up yes, or not raised. Yes, ma'am. This post. My affidavit in opposition. Petitioner reply filed. My be kept with the record. Record. Affidavit in affidavit be kept with the record. Reply. Huh? Next. Serial number two hundred twenty nine. Two hundred twenty nine. I beg to appear on behalf of the petitioner. Here, my petitioner sir, the guardian of the school. Hmm. Now, as per Rule Five One of the Sponsor Institution, similar the rule, persons, similar the president of the managing committee, is to be appointed or nominated by the government. Here, my allegation is this: the private respondent who is who has been engaged. Or one of the recommended as a president of the managing committee, he has been charged in a criminal proceeding. But that is I, the qualifications. But, sir, <laughs> but I made a complaint before the authorities, including the the selecting authority or nominating authority, that has not been taken into consideration. It is still pending. Which it, authority has to do? But here, one of the secretary of the school education department, as per the rule five one of the sponsor rule nineteen seventy two. He is the nominating authority. That now is the third, has... third respondent. Yes, state, state respondent. No, third, which respondent? No, he is the first respondent. Third is the assistant, he is the appointing authority. So, my humble prayer... Before... And uh, show that uh, uh, details of that criminal... Case. Yes. Charge sheet, Mlad, I have annexed. Kindly come page 33. Serial number 5. A box, Mlad, a table is there. 341, 323, 342, 506, and page 33 and 34. Last paragraphs kindly will not go through. And what is that person's name? Person's name in Kanai Malad, Kanai pa. Chand Pal. Serial number five in the table. Page 33. No, you are simply. Oh, okay. who seventh respondent? Pradeep Pal. He he was the. He was the president of that on that point of time. But uh, you, you are uh, grievances only against okay against him like Kanai Chapal. That is eighth rest. That he is uh, fifth accused. Yes. And what happened to your representation? Page thirty-five. Page thirty-five. Respondent number the number one, the secretary of the school education department. And he still continues to be the president. Yes, yes. Still now he is continuing. And what is the term? Five years or three years? Three years. When he was uh, selected? But that was uh, 2020. So by now they will say his term is over. No, no, no. Not not now. Till now he is continuing. All right. By this public interest. Now the eighth respondent has been served. Eighth respondents. Uh, just a minute. Can you go? Returned. Huh? Yes, yes. Only dispatched. Tra only tracking information says dispatched. No, that was a long back. Okay. That was a long back 2022. One year ago. This uh, red petition has been filed as a public interest litigation stating that the eighth respondent should not have been appointed as the president of the managing committee of Nedua Krishna Balram Vidya Mandir under memo dated 35 2019 on the ground that he is an accused in a case registered by the Sabang Police Station, Paschim Medinipur, in FAR number 407 of 18, dated 8-10-18, for offenses, uh, sorry, not FAR, case registered in FAR and so on, so, in which charge sheet has been filed on 30-11-2018, in charge sheet number 492 of 18, for offenses under sections 341, Comma 323, 342, 506, and 34 IPC. It is the learned advocate for the uh, petitioner has drawn our attention to the charge sheet wherein the eighth respondent in this red petition is the fifth accused. With these facts, the petitioner has submitted a representation to the first respondent and as well as uh, representation to the respondents <clears throat> one to three. 
one to four. Uh, on yes, one to tenth of February, twenty twenty. Huh? and uh, the representation is still not been uh, is still kept pending and has not been considered with the first mentioned grievance the petitioner has filed this writ petition if the petitioner has brought out certain information touching upon the credentials of the president of a school committee then the authority is bound to look into the same and examine as to the correctness of the grievance expressed in the representation. It is not known as to why the first respondent, the secretary school education department has till date not considered the representation. Full stop. In the light of the above, there will be a direction to the petitioner to submit uh, to um, uh, direct, uh, there will be a direction to the first respondent to consider the representation given by the petitioner Dated 10th February 2022, issue notice to the eighth respondent as and after hearing the eighth respondent, pass appropriate orders on merits and in accordance with law. The, uh, the petitioner is directed to forward a copy of the representation along with a copy of this order to the first respondent for compliance of the above direction. The, the above direction shall be complied with within a period of three weeks from the date on which the petitioner forwards the copy of the representation dated 10th February 2020. The petitioner should also be heard. All right. The, in, uh, after notice and the 8th respondent. Petitioner or his representative. Or their representative. Because petitioner or their authorized representative. Any, any, any necessary parties. Respondent number 8 again may, might be deprived if not heard. Any yes. necessary parties will be heard. Right? All right. Uh, here the 8th respondent and the yes, authorized sir. representative of the petitioner and any other party who may be necessary. We are grateful, Mila. Grateful, Dilaj. Serial number 230. I appear on behalf of the petitioner. Very good. This is the matter, my lord, uh, illegal, my lord, uh, encroaching the my lord, canal by the local people illegally. My lord, the person to... What they have put up construction, block the water, lord, what they have done. They are, my lord, putting a, dumping the wastage material and my lord, making a illegal construction, everything. Well, the report speaks for there is an encroachment and it has been my lord, the canal has been my lord, narrowed due to my lord, this region. My lord, the kindly see the, their report. The state has filed a report. My lord, kindly, my, my lord, exception. My lord, I have filed. Where is the report? My lord, uh, report. They have, my lord, state has filed. My lord, I have uh, annexed my lord, the, their, their report in my exception. Page six. My lord, uh, Page six of your exception. No, my lord. Page eight. Eighteen, my lord. Page eighteen, my lord. This is my lord. Subsequent report. Okay. But the initial report is my lord. Page eighteen. As for the instruction, so and so, so and so, person has the prevailing condition. Wheel canal well connected main road, so and so, eight to nine feet wide. Is only two to three feet. Yes. Then what happened? Well, thereafter, my lord, the court, my lord, the honorable court has directed to take necessary steps. My lord, they have, my lord, taken necessary steps by, my lord, making a, my lord, a fabricated uh, statement that they have cleaned the uh, canal, hmm. but practically they That's have right. not cleaned. They have, my lord, kindly see their, my lord, further report. Enquiry report and my lord, they have also taken a some local people signature that we have my lord, uh, remove the dumping, uh, my lord, the, uh, we have my lord, clear the canal. My lord, practically they have not removed. Practically, and the report my lord also kindly see their report. My lord, kindly page, page my lord, nine. My lord, just I am giving a some my lord, example in their report, page nine. My lord, paragraph four, page nine of my exception, my lord, that the flow of the canal draining, uh, draining uh, canal had been obstructed by illegal dumping activities and wasted material. But it is not clear who is who or uh, is are the person responsible for it. Then, my lord, the page six, 
video ul, uh, paragraph 6 video ulubadia send a comprehensive uh, compliance report 13 january 2021 from where it has been appeared that the video ulubadia engaged a sub assistant engineer water resource development director wrdd and the nirman Sahak to the said report the video ulubadia that the sub assistant engineer water resource development director WRDD and the Nirman Sahak of the Dhula Samalia Gampanchayat identified two clock point and the set canal, channel and all the dumped waste material were removed by the conducting of cleaning drive on 12 January 2020. Now, the part of the canal channel is uh, where witness uh, obstructed obstruction free. He also produced a list of beneficiaries and the local people who were, who were witnessed the satisfied satisfied with the said cleaning. So, Malut, this is the report there. No, no. Is... Why are they threatening the petitioner? Malut, they are Malut. Why? Because of Malut, I am Malut uh, filing the writ petition. Uh, Malut, public interest litigation. No, no. You are not complaining about illegal construction. You are complaining about dumping of waste material. Yes, no, apart from that, Malod, I have filed another read with PIL regarding Malod, the unauthorized construction and Malod, uh, encroaching. Both they are Malod, that, that local people and uh, Malod, I, the first Malod, I am Malod, item number 126. Oh, wow. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, second. 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 Ulubadia. <laughs> Uh, another inspection was carried out and a report was filed on 2nd of February 2022 in your presence. You are present at the time of inspection. Malod, I have seen similar to my paragraph. Just they have Malod, called a phone. I present. But I did not satisfy that. Because... Well, the authority says they have identified two clogged points. My, my Lord. And those two clogged, clogged points have been cleared. That is the authority's report. Malod, that is not Malod, my humble submission. It has not only I was. Nothing else. If Lord Chief Malod kindly send a person, Malod, uh, ch ch special officer, Malod, he will file a report. Whether if Malod, there is a uh, ch Malod, uh, clear, Malod, uh, ch Malod, uh, ch Malod, uh, clog, Malod, uh, block has been Malod, uh, clear, Malod, I, I shall satisfy. But Malod, practically, they have not removed. Only Malod, they have taken a Malod signature from the local people that they, these are the clock, uh, ch block has been Malod, uh, ch clear. And Malod, on that day, Malod, they have called me to come and see. But the huge Malod, local people, how shall I Malod, uh, che, uh, che, raise my voice? It's quite impossible. And another two or three writ petitions are still pending before the lordships. Malod, the person, local people has threatened me and Malod, the, uh, che, uh, they have Malod, uh, che, uh, che destroy my CCTVs. I complained, lost complaint before the police authority. Police authority has not taken any. They have the Malod, the pursuant to honorable course order, Malod, they have Malod given a sub police force. These are the situation. I am the whistleblower, my lord. Finally, consider my situation. That's why, my lord, uh, this, my lord, the, on the spot, I cannot raise my voice. But, my lord, practically, my humble submission kindly. Uh, uh, <coughs> By way of this public interest litigation, the petitioner's grievance is that a water channel has been uh, clogged, has been blocked by dumping of waste material. The there are uh, reports submitted by the author various authorities at different point of time, stating that there were two bottlenecks where the, the channel was blocked and the same has been cleared.
the petitioner has filed an exception to the said reports and submitted that the report is on merely an eyewash and the channel has still continues to be blocked and the petitioner is being threatened for having filed this public interest litigation in order to ascertain the correct position we direct the secretary of the district legal services authority uh, which place aura aura to conduct a surprise inspection of the area uh, um, and examine the um, state of affairs therein and submit a report to this court uh, as to whether there is any blockage of channel or otherwise the the superintendent of police howrah district is directed to deploy adequate police force during the during the time of inspection full stop the uh, registry is directed to send one set of papers of, of the writ petition the various reports as well as the uh, uh, affidavit in exception to the secretary dlsa huh? uh, for perusal for perusal okay. but for the, for, assist, but for assistance to the court may i have a copy of the writ petition from my learned friend yes, yes. the learned advocate for the writ petition shall submit shall uh, furnish a copy of the copies of the relevant uh, papers to the learned government council the report shall be submitted by <coughs> by 4th may 2023 list the matter on 8th may in the daily list hmm. the program from serial number 231 get to the video okay okay wait 231 who jane who knows 231 your for the state uh, 231 231 minute nanna ps for the petitioner even on the earlier hearing day that is on 9th november 20, 2022 nanna ps for the petitioner hence uh, dismissed with for non prosecution yeah, Serial number two hundred thirty-two and thirty-three. Hello, I appear for the private respondent and the review petition or subsequent application, in which already my land was dug out by the order of this honourable court, which I have come before your lordship on re in review. The review, the review was passed. Review order was passed by which division bench? By this division. No, not this one. No, no, your uh, honourable just uh, chief justice. Uh, Question, uh, sir, and. This is Rajiv. So it has to review has to go before a division bench consisting of uh, this is Rajiv Bardwaj and another judge. In that even, my lord, the writ petition needs to be. Uh, the we can tag the writ petition also. Very well, my lord, because otherwise the uh, my actually it is all now right. my grievance. The petitioner has filed a review petition uh, seeking review of the order and direction. Issued in sixteenth March, uh, dated sixteenth March, in WPA number so and so. Uh, let the review petition be listed before the appropriate division bench, and the writ petition may also be tagged along with the review application. <laughs> the papers be placed before the acting chief justice for. Necessary orders. Malad, the the state was there to submit a report. Mm. <coughs> I file it here or yeah, no? We file it. Right. No, no. Thirty vote also. Thirty vote to hoy, na. Me. Malad, no. Thirty vote. Start a copy. Copy of the report. File for a for you. You wait. You receive it on that day. That's the question. Thirty vote call hoy. Malad, two thirty four. Malad, this is a very peculiar matter, man. Yes. Again, the order of learned single bench, my lord. 
more than seven crores involved in this. So you call me, he's mentioning. Serial number 234? 234. What is the peculiar matter? matter? Learned single being directed to pay 50% of the amount of provident fund dues. More than seven crores are dues. Thereafter, my lord, he bargaining that one crore, 50 lakhs, he shall pay. Thereafter, my lord, prefer. Thereafter, we put the learned single bench, my lord. This is a PIL, is it? My lord, just a minute, my lord. I did have an order passed by the honorable division bench that all matters where the provident fund dues have been lying in. Uh, lying so outstanding, those have been uh, asked to be placed before the, see the order part as a PIA. Just to be in the my lord. So, no, I have an app bench directed to pay my lord more than then he want to withdraw the read petition my lord as well as appeal was dismissed with cost and learned single way read was pending that was directed to treat as a PIL public interest litigation because. Neither he is paying the provident fund. No, no. How it can be treated as a PIL? Uh, PIL. Where, I, where, which order? Well, where judge. is the order, my lord? Single judge. The uh, division bench order passed by the honorable. Yes. Their lordship, the honorable uh, presided over Justice Bindal, my lord. His lordship then was. No, this is a individual matter. See, if, suppose. Uh, there is a policy decision which is being questioned, etc. Somebody is opposing, then probably we can take it up as a general issue. They are known defaulters. Delta Limited is a known defaulter. You know about it. That's why, well, uh, unless you arrest the directors, you will not yes, get money. I have uh, written not the go no, no. thing. My let, let the report, the, no, no. Kindly see the order. It's paragraph 30 of the order. If your lordship's kindly, there is not paragraph 30 of the order. Did the order, my lord? There is state government is not cooperating at all. No, no, that a is fire, a Mr. Fire Mr. Also client is very happy you not know, siding with certain selected employers. I, I have an application for <clears throat> taking steps against his clients. Paragraph 30 of the order. But it's at page 28 of the application, being can one of 2021. All right, we'll hear it, but then what to do? We can't send it. Daily back. list, my lord, uh, let this matter be. have been a regular appeal as no, well. Let it be the monthly a... list itself. 234. We have finished up till 233. Next is your matter. <clears throat> my lord, then, my lord, next Monday, my lord, any day in the daily list. It will list. remain in the list. You are not uh, passing any order. So may, stop may please, your lord, see. My lord, uh, then, my lord, make it. Please, Karo. My lord, oh, today it'll continue. Then, my lord, make oh, sorry, it. Sorry, sorry. Today it will continue. My Lord, kindly they make it not today or uh, not. No, no, not today means not this month. My Lord, my Lord because my Lord, I have not uh, got the brief, my Lord. That's why. Lord, that is my problem. <laughs> you are saying so many things from your memory. Well, yeah, you that is you because my Lord is very peculiar. My Lord, I have heard this matter was at least three, four days. And when it comes to 30 crores, you know, he is not taking up his action. That's why it comes to a sweet meat shop. Go, no, no, Mr. Gupta, if it goes out of the list today, it will come in the monthly list of May. We can't do it to the daily Monday, list. Monday, my lord, daily list, my no, lord. No, no. I have an application lord, for recovery against his client's action. All right. He's siding with an employer. I have an advocate for the respondent. List in the monthly list of May. Hmm? Uh -huh. How to operate? So we can one. Please move it. Hmm. 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 <coughs> Front bench view. Full bench view. Hmm. Now, where to pass? May please, the Lordship. One second, sir. Hmm. Where to? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, sir. What do you want? Please, so Lord Shri, may I permit to mention very urgent matter is relating to DA. Kindly hear me for a moment. No, no, no. Mention, no mention. Lord Shri, what I am saying, Lord Shri. Dearness allowance has right, legal right. But as per the FX court says. You mentioned tomorrow morning. No, no, Lord Shri, I can make. Lord Shri, you can I am pausing for a moment. You please mention at 10.30 tomorrow morning. Lord Shri, kindly. My Lord. Uh, application before the appropriate authority. I have got the number. I have up on the respondent. My grievance is, is it the way of law? They call for a strike. If you raise your voice, oh. we, we will not list the mic. My if Lord. you raise your voice, there is a mic provided. I It is very audible. Lord. By raising the voice, you are not going to take it anywhere. No voice. mention it tomorrow morning. Thank you. My Lord, uh, your Lordship, my Lord, granted leave to man matter, list this matter tomorrow. But unless there is a urgent uh, noting of the urgent what, filing, what, what matter? My Lord, this is a matter. Uh, senior advocate Tapon Mukherjee mentioned before, Lordship, Lordship, uh, granted leave to matter, leave this matter to be listed tomorrow. Uh, but uh, without and without certified copy is written. No, but tomorrow we said uh, only yes, uh, that Tapon without certified copy. Yes, but an urgent. Ah, that item number one of his. No, that Mr. Tapon Mukherjee and senior advocate what mentioned. This? What is this matter? Mr. My Lord, just yesterday 4.30 or 4, my Lord, that order was passed to allow the uh, did petitioners to sit for the examination today. It's what was going oh, to yes, start. Yes. That's matter. Tomorrow, you make it.
हेलो
in this What matter, my lord i am led by mr kalol basu hmm. he not present my lord kindly i pray for one day accommodation my lord why why <laughs> <clears throat> what is the red petition for my lord near railway birati station my lord there are some abandoned railway quarters my lord hmm. they are be being used by the anti social element for the ill ill motives my lord i have come before this uh, honorable court my lord the railway have filed the report dated 2nd february to 2021 my lord hmm. wherein at para number 4 of the said report the railway have admitted that hmm. there are the unauthorized encroachment yeah. by the anti social element they are the, who are using the railway property for the ill illegal activity my lord but such a encroachment has not been removed by the uh, concerned authority till date my lord but only come <clears throat> to the report filed by the railway of 2nd february 2021 yes we have got that report pa at para number 4 my lord during joint survey it is observed that all encroachment unauthorized stall so on sir seems old and these stalls are running under the banner of different political and ruling parties in this regard special several correspondence we made for eviction but could not success for want of presence of local police grps Malik, you, you address the Malik, if you let us kindly see the order dated 26 july Yes, my lord. I am appearing on the railways, and we have sought assistance from the my lord, the local direct assistance to be granted. So as you Lord should do that, my lord, because they are not my lord helping the railway my lord protection for personals, my lord, because But, a lawyer. Uh, why do you require state police? Uh... Because this is a law and order subject, and GRP is the under the state police, my lord. What is GRP? GRP is the general uh, government police, my lord, railway police. They controlled by the state. government railway police it is controlled by the state by by the state but rpf you don't have rpf i we have what what we railway police force that is different but then why you are not giving uh, police assistance some illegal activities are going on that, uh, in railway property finally here mr ashun ganguly i am not we can't hear sir you are bound to he is a central government organization he is asking a state government there is encroachment in a, in their property some political people are uh, occupying the property. i think mr kanguli has filed a report before uh, the honorable uh, court no, mr kanguli has not filed any report there was any report filed no no report last time no he has filed ko bhi aage hum copy denge to but i have not been served any copy my lord what does he say Well, to resolve the dispute, if if your sir kindly direct my lord GRP to my lord to give my lord the assistance to the railway authorities so that my lord eviction can be done, my lord. This is a very short issue. हमारे कॉपी देने की फाइल कोर्स हमारे कॉपी देने करने तो
My Lord, there is a report filed by. Uh, that is January 2022 report. Form that is neither here nor there. January 25th, January 2022. By the Ashim Kumar. Into the Kanaji Tuma data cheta, the step taken in 2014 only. No doubt this is the next. We can be directed to consider the request in this order or referring to the affidavit data 24 submitted. No request for police assistance was made, no assistance was made. We will direct them to we will direct them to provide my lord, my lord, my lord. That will be my lord better. Man. What else to do? My lord. By way of this report petition, styled as a public interest litigation. The petitioner seeks for issuance of a writ of mandamus My Lord. to command the railway authority, railway police authorities and the railway protection force to immediately take adequate steps to protect the railway property which has been occupied by uh, uh, which have been illegally occupied and used for certain illegal purposes. Uh, affidavits have been filed. Reports had been called for, and the authorities have also filed the reports at various stages. The sum and substance of the grievance of the petitioner is that abandoned railway property has been illegally occupied by certain persons who are either using the property for unlawful purposes or carrying on small businesses without any license or permission granted by the appropriate authority. According to the petitioner, the occupation of uh, the illegal occupation of the uh, railway property causes not only uh, um, uh, is not not causes is not only illegal, uh, but also causes great inconvenience to the traveling public, and the security and safety of the public is also in jeopardy. Therefore, representations were made to the authorities to take appropriate action. And since no appreciable steps were taken by the railway administration, the petitioner has approached this court. <clears throat> by order dated 26th July 2022, the division bench took note of the affidavit filed by the railways dated 25th February 2022 wherein it has been it was submitted that a request for police assistance was made <clears throat> uh, was made to the officer in charge come police station hyphen nimta and the officer in charge grpp hyphen barasat but no assistance has been provided to evict the unauthorized occupants it is not clear as to why the officers in charge of the relevant police stations have not acceded to the request of the railway administration. If there is a likelihood of a law and order situation arising on account of the eviction proceedings that may be initiated with the railway administration, then it goes without saying that the state police as well as the GRPP should provide adequate assistance to the railway administration to enable them to retrieve their their property in the light of the above there will my be lord, a direction my, my, Bisha, my lord my lord kindly give, kindly direct the railway officer to file a report of the clearance of the encroachment you don't say you be... don't say what order will be passed uh, uh. otherwise it will be not clear yeah, yeah, yes yes no use means go you go elsewhere uh. Uh, in the light of the above, there will be a direction to the officer in charge, so and so Numta and Barasa, to consider the request of the railway administration uh, and provide adequate police assistance so as to enable the railway administration to initiate 
uh, eviction proceedings against unauthorized occupants of the railway property. The above direction shall be carried out within a period of six weeks from the date of receipt of the copy of this order. Uh, the railway administration shall intimate the date date of date on which they will commence eviction proceedings, uh, 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 giving sufficient time to the above police authorities to extend police protection, to uh, render necessary police assistance, not police protection. Next, this post. This My is Lord. sufficient. My Lord. Three years, your writ petition is hanging. Without any relief. <laughs> so I, therefore, be happy I'm with this. Grateful, my Lord, but uh, not the file to report of the but, uh, clearance of the encroachment. All Lord. right. We will see. Next. Serial number 236. This matter has some checkered history, my Lord. Miller, before my learned senior friend places the checkers history, Miller, there is a direction uh, by uh, your lordships to uh, have an affidavit affirmed on behalf of the respondent, Miller. Miller, in the meantime, what had happened was there was a change of the set of advocates, Miller, and the earlier file, for some reasons within the client and the erstwhile advocates, Miller, is not in our CC, Miller. Mm. Miller, if Miller grants us some time, Miller, and allow us that at our cost, we will get every document Xerox, Miller. We would have done that on the last occasion only, Miller. There was nobody appearing for the petition on the last occasion, Miller. That is why Mr. Ghosh has been... Today put today us, uh, also not I am not for the petitioner. Now, oh. Malad, I have been appointed as an amicus. amicus. Yes, yes, we saw the order. Malad, uh, I was on petitioner, Miller. Then, Malad, advocate under court wants to Malad, withdraw the petition, Miller. Then Marad, I become the Marad. Uh, well, it appears right. the private respondents have also filed a affidavit in opposition. You, you are appearing for? For the corporation, my lord. And what is the relief in the writ petition? My lord, uh, the writ petition has six, my lord. My lord, to demolition of a my lord, illegal house without, my lord, without sanction plan, the house has been my lord, constructed. That mm. is, my lord, the, the crux of the matter, my lord. Then, my lord, uh, the advocate record, my advocate record wants to, my lord, withdraw, my lord, there, I don't know, my lord, what, my lord. All right, we, you take action in accordance with the law. My lord, I assure, my lord, we will be going through the uh, inquiry and take actions, my lord. There would be no tolerance. Wait, so far so as why the, are you protecting these? My lord, my lord, we will not, we are not protecting, my lord, we shall not protect, my lord. My lord, as an officer of the court, my lord, it is an undertaking, my lord. We have been assisting the courts to ensure that there is no illegal construction, my lord. See, and at will... this stage, see, suppose you had issued notice Miller. and he had come forward to the plea. Miller. No, no, no. My construction is you know, not uh, illegal. The classification of land is different, etc. Some plea Miller. raises. Miller. Then you pass an order. Miller. We test the correctness of the order is right. Miller. But it has not come to that stage. You need to issue a notice. In the forenoon session, your friend was placing the uh, relevant provisions of the act. Yes, In that matter, I was appearing for the corporation. Uh, so, where you issue notice, conduct an inquiry, afford them an opportunity of personal hearing, then put them on, you pass an order, uh, grant them whatever 45 days time or something to remove the unauthorized construction. If you don't do it, this you take action. By this, uh, by this petition, styled as a public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks for action against the ninth respondent who is alleged to have put up unauthorized and illegal construction. No, 10th response. 10th or 9th is police. The petitioner had uh, submitted uh, various representations which were not considered and uh, uh, and therefore the petitioner approached this court. During the pendency of the writ petition, it appeared that it appears that the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner wanted to withdraw the writ petition. The, uh, the uh, Honorable Division Bench did not permit the same and dis while discharging the advocate who was appearing for the writ petitioner, directed, no, while, uh, while discharging the writ petitioner, no, while, what happened? Petitioner was... Uh, not petitioner, Malad. Malad, the advocate on record was allowed not to. Sorry. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, during the pendency of the writ petition, the petitioner did not prosecute the matter. Therefore, the learned advocate appearing, the learned advocate, Mr. Dabashish Ghosh, appearing for the petitioner was appointed as amicus curie by the 
honorable division bench full stop um the the tenth respondent has filed a, an affidavit in opposition denying the allegations of any unauthorized construction or illegal construction rather he would state that he is not making any construction the other uh, allegations made by the red petitioner has also not has been denied in toto uh, we find that that uh, the re respondent municipal corporation has not taken a specific stand in the red petition as to whether the 10th respondent has put up illegal and unauthorized construction full stop in fact when a representation has been received the municipal the corporation authorities could have examined the same for its correctness and if there was any illegal construction huh? uh illegal or unauthorized construction action could have been taken under the relevant statute this having not been done we are inclined to issue the following direction full stop the written petition is disposed of and uh, disposed of by directing the uh, bidanagar municipal corporation to take into consideration the representations given by the red petitioner dated 15th january 2020 issue notice to the 10th respondent conduct an enquiry and if any unauthorized or illegal construction is found appropriate action shall be initiated in accordance with the relevant statute within a period of 3 weeks from the date 6 weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of this yes red flash 6 weeks 6 weeks from the date oblige red flash is posted it's all right serial number 237 yes put up a five story concept amrat pole pole se di pole se kuch na my lord uh, Yeah, what is actually happened? One of the main problems which the which you are facing in Calcutta, my lord, public toilet. I remember one incident, my lord, in 1960 to 63, when first All India Bar Council was formed. Mr. Sedarbad was the chairman. Mr. Dabtir was the vice chairman. My father was also a member of this Bar Council. <laughs> Then, my lord, some advocate channel, but the most of them never advocate channel. Madras and Punjab, they wanted to come over here, so arrangement was made. One day, I remember I was quite young at that time, 1962. So, at Fogger Jail of Madras, come on, let us go to the Calcutta. We'll see Calcutta because we are staying a little bit away from Calcutta. So naturally, we went there. Now, Madam is the wife of our old Fogger Jail. She faced some problem because her toilet. There's no public toilet. It's unfortunate. And then ultimately, High Court. It was informed to the High Court. High Court opened the lock. And ultimately, she was permitted to use that. So that was the situation in those days. So naturally, it is needed. So corporation decided to install certain my lot pay and scheme. My lot already seen in the street pay and use toilet. Mm. The lot in a the place where it is involved my lot. We wanted to construct a pay and toilet, pay and use the toilet. As usual, a read petition was moved. The allegation is this that well, in the name of the toilet, he was spoiling the children park. Now. If somebody move the Kolkata model file, everyone is committing nuisance in open street. So what is wrong in it? No, they, they, there was an order which was passed on. Complied it. It's complied. Complied. And my lord, we are against that. And not only that, not only that, my lord, the whole unfortunate thing is, is how done where we are making construction, my lord, is getting enormous. But everybody is committing nuisance out just in parks at the park. So we wanted to construct. Can you direct us to complete and construct this? So you have completed. Yes, yes. 
Malad, we have already taken the decision. Kindly allow us to implement overall everywhere. It will be. That is the direction of the division bench. In everywhere, that will be done. And some has already been installed and started, my lord. It's very unfortunate. In, in modern city, it is must. Hmm. So, whatever decision you have taken, my lord, in compliance of your lordship order, my lord, we may be so a public interest lead petition had been filed uh, to stop the construction of pay and use toilets and demolish any structure if it was constructed and restore the children's park in the relevant area. By order dated 10th, 10th December 2020, yes. the court, the Honorable Division Bench issued certain directions and for better appreciation, the entire order is quoted here and below. Please extract the entire order. From the above order, it is seen that the court was conscious of the fact that the order may be in excess of the direction sought in the Still. petition. <laughs> but that is exactly the purpose of a public interest litigation for, comma, for a larger public cause to be taken up while addressing a like issue of smaller magnitude. The um, I have also used an affidavit. The, the, uh, an affidavit has been filed on behalf of the Kolkata Mun Municipal Corporation in compliance with the directions issued in the aforementioned order. The steps taken, the following are the st steps taken by the Kolkata Municipal Corporation. Yes. Uh, um, page number. Uh, Seven of this affidavit from para seven, you please extract at page 20. My lot, you have what you do is this portion you need not extract only the paragraphs. Okay, hmm? this is not okay. It says there are copy of letter, so that's not required. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. Okay, okay. up to ten. The above complaints report is placed on record and the red petition is disposed of by directing the Kolkata Municipal Corporation to provide adequate toilet facilities wherever there is public movement. And it is not only necessary, it is not, uh, it is not enough for the toilets to be established, but the toilets to be properly maintained yes, with, yes, that's true. with adequate water supply. That's, that's true, my um, the uh, the uh, commissioner of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation shall issue a, a circular to all all his field officers to ensure that the public toilets are maintained in good and hygienic condition. Right. Okay. Otherwise, sometimes it's so dirty, my lord. <laughs> now they are doing this after my lord also. So my lord, whatever intimate is there is vacated, my lord. Can you record it, my lord? Oh, yeah, disposed of. Next. I'm getting from Deep Love Lights. Serial number 238. May I leave mine? File is not available. Which At one? 230. 238. Next. Yeah. Serial number 239. No, I'm sorry. Bye. Yes. I'm happy for the response number four and five, my lord. You are for? Response number four and five for the South Dam, the municipality. 
you are for the red petition no, no, north dum dum municipality what is this municipality is appear and what is the relief sought for in the pil here here my lord the allegations use the mic hmm? my lord here my lord the allegations is that my lord that huge number of water bodies are being filled up by some persons my lord hmm. my lord uh, so many municipalities have been implicated as respondents in this matter my lord earlier occasion there was a direction to file a report in the form of affidavit my lord on behalf of me i have already filed my lord But uh, they have filed a, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, a reply to your affidavit stating that uh, in dum dum municipality still the uh, i mean the water body has been illegally filled up my lord i am appearing my lord i am appearing for the dum dum municipality ah. my lord th this is not correct my lord your lordship kindly see uh, the report my lord filed by the dum dum municipality my lord my lord here my lord in uh, paragraph number 6 F six H and six I allegations has been made against the Dom Dom municipality, my lord. Your lordship kindly see paragraph six six F, my lord. Wait, where is your affidavit? My lord, respondent number four and five. Yes. Page number, para number. My lord, uh, your lordship can you see paragraph 4a, my lord. Hmm. My lord, in paragraph 6f, my lord, uh, it has been alleged that, my lord, in 180 PK Guho Road, some persons are, uh, my lord, trying to uh, fill up the water bodies, my lord. My lord, the actual fact is that, my lord, in 180 PK Guho Lane, my lord, my lord, uh, physically it has been remained vacant land, my lord, since 1999, my lord, and no sanction plan has been yet issued in respect of that, my lord. My lord, I have annexed the inspection report at page 5, my lord, conducted by the officials of the municipality, page 5, my lord. And holding number 180, PK Google Lane, ward number 10 is a vacant land measuring. 8 kata 6 chata for 40 square feet. No plan for any construction has been sanctioned on this land till date. In your affidavit, yes, my lord. You please come to page 3, para 6a. Page 3, para 6a. Hmm. Yes, my lord. It says the, there is a playground being developed and maintained by the municipality in RS 1970. Yes, my lord. Then you say it's not a water body. No. Then my what lord. about RS uh, plot number 1964? It is found on physical verification. Yes. A part of the set plot remains as water body. Yes, yes, what about lord. the remaining area? That's not a water body. No, my lord. Part, part of the set plot remains as water body. Till now, my lord. Till now. Till now, my lord. And regarding one one nine five zero, my lord, there are existing residential building, my lord. None appears for the petitioner. We have heard the learned advocates appearing for the respondent municipality. 
and peruse the reports filed by the municipality as also the reply slash objections filed to the uh, objection filed by the petitioner to the said report. The petitioner has sought for a very wide prayer uh, to direct the authorities to investigate the illegal filling up of water bodies in in the in the area falling within the jurisdiction of North Dum Dum Municipality and Dum Dum Municipality and to restore the water bodies. From the reports filed, uh, it is seen that uh, no, in the, the reports filed by the, the concerned municipality state that the allegation is false, inspection has been conducted, and water bodies uh, are being maintained uh, as is. Full stop. Um, the issue being hmm, um, um, no, the, the petitioner in uh, not issues, the petitioner in his reply of David has denied the allegation but has not brought on record any additional facts to prove that the stand taken by the municipalities in their reports is factually incorrect. Anyhow, we do not wish to foreclose the rights and uh, remedies that may, may be available to the writ petitioner. And therefore, we dispose of this writ petition uh, um, by placing on record the reports submitted by the respective municipalities. And if still the petitioner has any grievance, he may approach the Secretary to Government of West Bengal, Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Department by way of a, an appropriate representation. This post of. Serial number 240. I for the petition. Hmm. But it is the challenge that the West Bengal Health Recruitment Board members are not qualified persons. Mm. One of the learned the ex advocate general appear in this matter. And now they are not appeared. The other side is not. The state recruitment health recruitment board. My representation is representation. Page. Page the la last annexure of my page. 23, page 23, just page 23 and 23, 24 and 23. This page 23 is an application under the Right to Information Act. My Lord. And where is your representation saying that? My Lord, oh my. Uh, page 27, correct. Page 27. According to you, what is the defect in the constitution of the board? Board is the minimum uh, joint secretary, their qualification, minimum joint secretary oh. as per circular. Minimum qualification as joint secretary. My representation, I category stated that they are not the qualified oh. person. You come to page 28 of your paper book. Page 29 and 20. No, page no. Content the circular. Page 28, it has been observed from the at, official at least, website. Of the Actually, West Bengal Health Recruitment Board, that apart from two per, per, the eight members who are directly associated with the ruling party, and none of them hold the rank of joint secretary my Lord. or higher post, my Lord. which is mandatory prerequisite for being cooperated as a member, um, as would operator so on so on. So. Well, at the relevant point, they are not the holding the post. Let them file, my Lord, their report, the state government. No, this appointment is for what is the period of appointment? It is the period of appointment. It's a file 2021-2022 at the relevant point, my lord. And the circular in the 1st August of 2012, as per circular, let them produce their members are qualified as per circular. They are not qualified. 
and they are recruited by doctors others no what is the quality have you implemented the members members i some members i implemented and the state government and what happened this was so filed the chairman i i implemented the chairman of the health recruitment board no no if you say those eight members six members are not qualified you should have implemented them they should i am not implemented so for the present we can do one thing we can direct your representation to be considered who consider my lord the uh, who to whom ever you have written my lord yes my lord you have written to totally five persons my lord we will direct the principal the secretary principal secretary, my principal secretary health department after hearing the part the petitioner by way of this public interest petition questions the constitution of the west bengal health recruitment board to be contrary to the mandatory requirement according to the according to the petitioner eight members uh, do not have qualification to hold the uh, to 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 be co-opted as a member of the west bengal health recruitment board therefore the petitioner seeks for appropriate action to scrap the board and consequently all actions and, and consequently to declare all actions done by them as illegal though such a wide prayer has been sought for those eight persons against whom allegations have been made are not made respondents in the petition therefore we are not persuaded to mm, grant uh, any direction as sought for in the petition nevertheless since the representation given by the petitioner uh, uh, dated 12th of february 2022 has not been disposed of huh? and uh, the petitioner has not been informed about the fate of his representation we are inclined to issue the following direction uh, the accordingly the petition stands disposed of by directing the petitioner to give a fresh representation to the principal secretary to government department of health and family welfare kolkata enclosing a copy of the representation dated 12th of uh, february 2020 and a copy of this order and the, and the said authority shall consider the representation and pass appropriate orders on merits and accordance with law and communicate the same to the writ petitioner within a period of 6 weeks from the date of receipt of the copy of the representation next real number Yeah. 241 ibrahim yeah, shift pe pitam choudhury appearing for the petitioner he is not well i am paying for one week adjournment my what happened illegal cutting of trees who will appear for the state mr tapan mukherji saugata mitro any instruction you got the lord chairman appear on behalf of the state red mr mukherji jimmy having considered we are of the view that now let a short report on the form jeep in Are you going to start pass over your lectures? Pass over, because there was an order to pass on twenty uh, eighth of August, twenty twenty, saying that there should be no further filling of trees, and uh, a report of the action taken should be com- shall be communicated by the fourth respondent to the second respondent, and if I uh, take illegal action. What is your instruction? You don't. Have... I, I am not brief, my lord. What is the account? Let it remain in the list. Then it will come tomorrow. So it will. Oh, so let it remain in the list, my lord. Wait for me.
serial number 242 242 lord chips i am appearing on behalf of the script hmm ियालीटेड accordingly uh, some complaints have been made before the district uh, authorities hmm. to take steps so that so those were not considered my submission is i for the oil company where the distributorship agreement uh, this was granted long back and the lpg distributorship was granted according to the petroleum rules hmm. because three licenses are required yes. one is a license from the explosive department that is peso license another license another no objection is required from the uh, district magistrate and another is the selling license by the food and supply department so all these licenses has been granted and when was this outlet established and this this lpg distributor yeah, this was is... uh, established sometimes in 2020 because But... in the in the petition also if you losses may kindly see the uh, and it's challenging to communicate for the selection process was induct, uh, was initiated in the year 2017 and the petitioner before you lost is also a candidate who applied for the same location oh if you lost is kindly come to page 14 he was an unsuccessful candidate page now 14. he says pil huh? yes page number page 14 annexure p2 your lords page 4 Yes, the name Page of the 14 is the uh, list of the eligible candidates uh, uh, for reader of se selection of LPG distributor. Hmm. Now, if you watch this, we can only see the serial number 11. Shorten Poramanik. This is the petitioner, and 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 the selected candidate is uh, serial number. The respondent number nine, uh, the private respondent who has been granted the distributorship because it is done through draw of lots. Mala, the serial number three. Who is the private respondent number nine? Haradhan Shah. Haradhan Shah. Nanna, please, please take down. Nanna, please for the petitioner. Uh, this writ petition, styled as a public interest litigation, seeks to challenge a distributorship, an LPG distributorship, granted to the ninth respondent by the Indian Oil, by the Indian Oil Corporation. The of uh, the learned advocate for the indian oil corporation submits that the distributorship has been granted by following the relevant rules and after obtaining the requisite licenses from the explosive department from the food and food supply food food supply department as and the district magistrate uh, it is pointed out that the writ petitioner was also an applicant for the distributorship but was unsuccessful and has come forward with this writ petition to establish the same the list of applicants enclosed in along with the writ petition was shown to us from which we find that the name of the writ petitioner is in serial number 11 if that be so come on the present writ petition cannot be treated as a public interest writ petition but a private interest litigation the petitioner having been an applicant himself cannot now state that the location of the distributorship is not conducive and uh, such an objection at the instance of the writ petitioner is not maintainable hence the writ petition dismissed okay. next serial number 243 Uh, i am appearing malada for the uh, petitioner before this uh, to court malada in, in connection with the public interest litigation i am for the intervenors malo person to what happened after they are there was an order passed on 13th february But they have issued malada notices ami bolbo na apni bolche ami ekটু boleni bolbo 
my lord uh, pursuant to the order of this honorable court my lord notices were issued very good to various person but in stages my lord section 10 1 10 2 10 3 like this my lord but at this stage of 10 1 my lord some persons my lord who are now represented by my learned friend my lord they approach the learned single judge the learned single judge my lord after um, uh, hearing my lord was of the opinion that since the order was passed by the division bench the learned single judge has no jurisdiction that order was assailed before the division bench my lord uh, the division bench my lord uh, uh, before the division bench my lord i produce that the notices were already issued so question of denial of opportunity of hearing or adherence to principles of natural justice my lord doesn't arise on the basis of those notices my lord the uh, division bench was pleased to direct that the parties means the um, uh, client of mr sina uh, my lord lied uh, lied <coughs> uh and remain present the no hearing was made my lord and it is under the process at this stage my lord <coughs> the this application as intervener has been made but unfortunately one thing i have noted that the incident of moving before the learned single judge or assailing of the learned single judge order before the um, uh, division bench has not been mentioned in this my lord and now your lords will kindly consider whether it amounts to separation of fact or whether practically when initially oh, this uh, approach was there this, uh, this uh, uh, already direction has been issued by the division bench yes. and matter is proceeding yes and the, this uh, entire exercise has become academic no 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 the real issue is not that my lord a vast area a vast area in mathurapur area my lord in uh, south 24 parganas my lord there my lord the uh, 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 villages my lord were accumulated my lord, and sub uh, accumulated water and submerged my lord due to my lord closer or filling up of a khal a stretch of 2 kilometers khal was filled up 4 kilometers stretch my lord was filled up and on that uh, 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 filled up khal my lord the houses shops everything has come up well uh, it was challenge it has a very checkered history my lord will find the order sits my lord in the where my lord the my lord justice uh, sanjeev banerji was presiding over the revision bench there my lord at one point of time pursuant to my lord's direction 60 pump had to be my lord uh, engaged my lord for the purpose of at least to save the lives of the people this is such a situation it has not been completed the calls has not been has not been restored till now it's only my lord uh, evacuation of those uh, encroachers or my lord the unauthorized construction it is at this stage only the writ petition my lord is yet to be finally decided or that uh, it has to be seen that the order has been implemented by the state agencies for last 2 3 years my lord it is going on like this <laughs> and uh, and my lord will find from the last order my lord no the irrigation department was supposed in to file a report uh exception filed by the petitioner to the report of the second respondent yes. then another report was sub- you have filed a, a sketch yes my lord that sketch is there. you take that sketch there is a sketch oh ye sketch ta jeta ye report e ache amader exception ta report ta second exception but by order date 13th of february my lord Lord, we, we were directed to uh, point out, file a report yeah, stating the number of encroachers. Lord, my report is not in the form of affidavit. Lord, that we can do. Lord, by Lord, can may I place the number of encroachers on yes. earlier occasion as many as four hundred encroachers yes, yes, were spoken of. Lord, I have flag marked. You got that sketch? Sketch. We did affidavit. Lord, I have flag marked the portion, the number of encroachers. Lord, today the number of encroachers are identified. Mm. Lord, the law is taking its own course. Lord, Lord, uh, notices and un- are issues under the West Bengal Highways Act. Lord, this paragraph twenty-one, Lord, it reads, Lord, it specifies that total three hundred and eighty-six. Then one notice has been issued. Lord, thirty-two, one twenty-four. Your lordship has gone to the next stage. That's ten two. Lord, for the thirty-two, my lord, has gone to the next stage of ten two, which is ten three. Lord, we will be taking appropriate steps in terms of the lord uh, act. My, my my lord was asking lord, me regarding this page me, map at hmm. page twelve, my lord. Page fifteen. Page fifteen. Hmm. Lord, we kindly see. Okay, because this, this, this case. Yes, yes, my lord. This one, my lord. 
Now, what is what is this? Please explain. But this is a my lord. Uh, 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 it's a PWD road, my lord. Mm. It has been constructed over and above the encroachers are there on a uh, 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 khal, my lord, after being filled out. As a oh, result. No, which is that portion? Red red mark portion or but I have no, it is not red mark, it's a stretch of four kilometers. No, no, you give that sketch. Yes, yes, my <laughs> my lord, I have two even in two epitaphs. No, no, I will I'll mark it and give. You lost me. Can you see whether this is that, my lord? One after another is given, my lord, That's and British. practically nothing is being, my lord. No, no, not this sketch. There is another you sketch. Kindly excuse me. Eight of them. Eight of but uh, you may take action. Absolutely. But uh, some of them have gone to the single bench, etc. May I prevent this flooding? Malad, may I Malad, make some submissions? Malad, allegations are against us. That is why we have come to intervene in this matter. We moved a writ petition saying that the process, due process of law, which is under the West Bengal Highways, Highways Act 1964, has not been followed because we were not granted opportunities. They were putting the uh, proceedings which is going on before a lordship saying that there is a division bench order you please vacate so we approached the honorable trial judge saying that it even is. if there is an order order is for filing of the report there was no specific order of vacation from the division bench that cannot be division bench is activating the process but our right to uh, guaranteed under the statute cannot be taken away we will be having an opportunity of hearing we will be having the opportunity to show that under what provisions we are there. Some of the persons are having porchas, that is land records. Some of the persons are having sanctions from the appropriate authorities to build. So this process is on. There are 400 uh, plus persons. And we had approached. Now, the hearing was fixed by the order of the division bench. The division bench order has been given, my lord. We have appeared in the hearing, my lord. And we have taken objections to the effect that this public interest litigation was initially initiated for saving the place from saying that the entire place is being inundated, inundated yes. now that is being that issue has been addressed now this is taking turn to evac ev evacuate this uh purported encroachers that is my clients from pwd roads but a moment a notice is issued under section 10 of the west bengal highways act 1964 it is fact is admitted that that is not a water body because highway cannot be on water body. All right. Now, now so, according to you, that uh, water logging or inundation. Yes, that is the, set, set it, right. it has been settled. But then, once it, this matter stood activated, as you yes. rightly say, it is well open to the authority to examine as to on what basis. That is that set. process is on. I that have process, let it be taken to the logical end. So it yes, will be, it will be taken, my lord. The meeting, but let, let, but let only my lord, my lord, make the submission that the issue has been addressed. Only, my lord, not at the I'll pressure of this thing. public interest litigation. Because, my lord, because we have our not rights. a number of persons, my lord, who are the wrongdoer. We have not made any allegation against them. We are against, my lord, the non-action on the part of the state authorities, my lord, in failing and neglecting, my lord, to restore the... Lord, may I place the division in charge? In respect of water body, my lord, in that Pizar is act, my lord, knows. No. <laughs> Their report says there is no PW canal. There is no, no tidal no, canal. But they have they have accepted what I can produce but today. No, but I, I this can... report, which he handed over just oh, the, uh, uh, today, who, who, what has been handed over to my lord? But yeah. I, I, I I have not been favored with a copy of the but same. This then is I can the... say, my lord, I can show. This is the present, even, present position, my lord. My lord, 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 lord will find from paragraph seven of my read petition. On that string, my lord, they could not answer, and the then chief justice, my lord, was pleased to direct again very recently, my lord, very recently. It's unfortunate for the last two, three years, I can hand over, my lord, the series of documents. Only some plan has to be taken, action has to be taken, video is requested, Panchayat Pradhan is requested. Only, my lord, the lift service. Nothing, no physical action, save and except these notices. No physical action. Even one person. The physical action, will, process will process physical you action. The, your friend says that issue regarding inundation has been addressed. In your report, cursory glance of the report, you say there is no PW canal, 
or no drainage channel millet at present millet what i have understood millet at present there is no pwd canal hmm. the pwd canals are encroached by the encroachers oh. that is the reason of issuing this 400 notices to the encroachers millet no whether that uh, um, the water logging or inundation millet what water logging there is as on date millet there is no permanently it has not been so solved millet oh. but millet the panj local panchayat has time and again uh, ensured that whenever there is water logging steps are been taken not a single lynch man i'm very sorry to say man i'm sorry to interrupt may i place the order of unless the and until my once. the order was that passed by mala just banji let this report come on record mala huh? let this report come on record you file it along with the name. absolutely we will absolutely. take it up uh, absolutely little later by may, then may, can, may i affirm it as, as, as mala please what two what weeks or something you can file your objection but if, if provided if i uh, favored with a copy my lord this is my lord will kindly grant me some time to affirm this ah. <laughs> the uh, learned uh, uh, for the my state. intervening applications my lord let the pleadings be served to us so my that we can appropriately assist your lordship kindly take the trouble of looking into an order dated 20th october 2020 hmm. that will make the position clear It's my lord only after engagement of sixty pumps for uh, 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 some time. So twenty four hours it ran, my lord, and only then it could be my lord um, uh, done, my lord, to some extent. No, no, khal nahi ho kar dar. So the water has been pumped out. No, no, temporarily. Temporarily for that uh, for that period only, because my lord, there is no way out. If the khal is my lord filled up. The, the water cannot flow. Water cannot flow. I cannot, I cannot say, my lord, in connection with this, my lord, in Calcutta also, this has been happened. This has happened, my lord. In some matter, I am appearing, my lord, on behalf of the corporation, obviously, because of the topographical condition, my lord, after the eastern bypass, my lord, because of the coming up of the uh, houses, my lord, uh, what has happened? Some calls and well, some other things. Even an issue is there. I shall be coming, my lord, with my lord after taking the exception to the reports. They are my lord. We will find even where the Ramsar construction uh, Ram, uh, principles is my lord uh, uh, applicable. What is uh, 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 wetland uh, uh, area? But it was decided by my lord Justice Sumesh on the Banerjee my lord as far back as in the year 1985. Since then, my lord, that wetland area, I mean, they are my lord a huge construction. I have a number of more than 200 flats are coming up, my lord, in total derogation of law. Without caring, such an influential person. That issue is there, my lord. I shall make this submission. Many, many things are no, there. That is not there, my lord. I have, I have the occasion to appear as an amicus with regard to water bodies, my lord. This is not that issue, my lord. Eighty-five with three thirty. And my lord, I'll be only praying my intervening applications be allowed, and my lord, I'll be supply with the pleadings by duly affirming, duly support, duly submit a report, duly support, supported by an after. Let the matter be listed after three weeks. In the meantime, the report should be served <coughs> on the <coughs> on the learned advocate appearing for the writ petitioner and the private respondents, and they are granted liberty to file exception to the said report. Yes, only thing, my lord, interveners, my lord, lord uh, we have uh, not yet been said, added as respondents. We are as of today interveners. Proposed, proposed uh, private respondents. Only thing, kindly give my lord direction that not in the meantime that within such and such date they will give so that we can get. A, Space, my lord, for the purpose of filing. Oh, within what time you will affirm? Ten days, my lord, will kindly give me. Then you space it out, no? I shall uh, affirm and file the report uh, within. Uh, you give some date, huh? ten days. Ah, okay. Then uh, a copy should be served. Huh? Uh, uh, exception to the report to be filed not later than one week thereafter. Hmm? List the matter in the monthly list of me. In the meantime, Malad, the petitioners may be also directed to serve the pleadings upon us, so that we know what the matter is. Read petition, Malad. Read petition, copy. pleadings. You send a soft copy by email. Uh, soft yes. copy. Uh, oh, you <laughs> you are using a mobile phone. You are using a smartwatch. No, but the, your watch but... is a smartwatch. You will see who is calling. <laughs> <laughs> we are not. He is a very tech savvy person. No, I am not. I am not. not. Don't give a hard copy. You send it by email. 
Yes, ma'am. You please give your email. Yes, ma'am. In respect of assisting the court, my lord, is it is always easier. Yes, easy, easy. It is always easier to assist the court in uh, hard copies. I would say. ডে <laughs> 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 So what is this online gambling? What is the matter about? Well, we have taken all steps. What steps you have taken? The doctor. charge sheet has been submitted before the judicial magistrate you please give that report hmm? not today hmm? a report has been filed by the learned government council copy of which has been given to the learned advocate for the petitioner let the matter remain in the list tomorrow we'll take it up not tomorrow it will come later remain in the list 224445 46 same uh, i am appearing 245 is concerned ah only in 245 all day. then 247 only one matter you come serial number 247 yes serial number 247 uh, your lordship i am the petitioner in person Sir, i am for the respondent railway authority hmm I slipped on him. Yes, uh, Lord, the matter is uh, reconstruction of Dattapukur Railway Station Road. And the matter is still pending uh, since uh, the, order, uh, the order was passed on 27th June 2022. There is a specific order. issued by the honorable high court hmm. till date we didn't receive any report from state my lord uh, my lord i'll tell you lot of what's happened my lord this is my lord a railway line my lord in dattapuku my lord it's railway land my lord the road my lord was in a pathetic condition my lord the local authorities there my lord did half the road then my lord for the other half my lord which was on railway land my lord request was made to them my lord the railways my lord then went on to say that you apply for a no objection and we shall uh, uh, grant the relevant sanction my lord that no objection has been applied for number 1 mm -hmm. my lord i'll show you lot ships my lord the railways has gone on saying my lord that there is uh, no such uh, prayer there is over and above that my lord the local authorities have also estimated my lord the cost my lord which will be my lord required my lord for constructing this and have applied my lord to my lord the state my lord panchayat division for mm. sanction of that fund mm. over and above that my lord they have also said my lord if the railways my lord can help my lord to contribute something my lord here my lord we can have the road because it's really required my lord for my lord the local my lord inhabitants my lord in that area my lord i have my lord i can show you lots of my lord the now the railways have they given lord, no uh, objection my lord uh, i have well and as per my instruction we have not received any uh, application from the state of westbengal but uh, then uh, lord, somebody should think in yes, public lord, interest my lord as per my instruction my lord we have sent this to uh, the competent authority for approval my lord we will Who's do the, the competent authority the railway authorities Who? which is our land to our competent authority to the, the we have sent it to so the head of we will issue a direction to that authority who's that authority uh, well this is my latest instruction
ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> with good quality material and also maintain the proper drainage it appears that there is a the it appears that the land being a railway land no objection has to be obtained from the railways eastern railway and according to the state the, the according to the state slash panchayat they have addressed the eastern railway for necessary no objection which has not been given the written instruction given to the learned standing council for the railway administration shows that patchwork can be done and that also can be done only subject to availability of funds uh, thus uh, um, on account of uh, di- different stance taken by the panchayat authorities and the railways the it is the public who are put to hardship therefore this court so therefore we are inclined to issue the following direction the writ petition is disposed of by directing the divisional engineer comma eastern railway comma sialda to give an objection to the concerned panchayat for the purpose of repairing the repairing or renovating or relaying the road with good quality material it is made clear that the funds the uh, the expenses shall be met by the panchayat however the development of the road will not in any manner confer any right on the panchayat and the road will continue to remain the road of the railway administration the railway the, the divisional engineer railway eastern railway sialda shall give the no objection within 10 days from the date of receipt of the survey copy of this order thereafter the panchayat shall take immediate action for um, for commencing the relaying of the road as it has been informed that already administrative approval and financial sanction has been granted no, financial sanction has been applied for we were waiting my lord for that and, sanction uh, and already administrative approval has been granted and financial sanction is awaited uh, since the railway administration has not granted no objection sir my lord only two things my lord i want to clarify my lord you just take one minute my lord my lord they need direction. to arrange the chairs yeah i know my lord i'll just so that there's no ambiguity my lord respondent number 3 is malot the panchayat 4 uh, is the respondent di- number 3 the district magistrate is 4 direction should be on 3 and 4 3 and 4 uh, the district magistrate and the uh, fourth uh, the third respondent panchayat and malot the district magistrate has initiated the proposal saying they are willing to do it malot and malot has applied malot to malot the planning authority my lord so malot really malot both administrative and financial but we'll do that malot your lordship malot uh it has been initiated already by the district magistrate it's on record i put it there uh, since the district magistrate uh, north uh, 24 parganas has, has already initiated the process as soon as the no objection certificate is uh, issued the government shall grant financial sanction and the road shall be relayed and completed in fact i have also made a prayer just opposite vijan bhavan yes the entire road is full of potholes every day at least there is one accident and there is a small tea shop as a result these two wheelers in order to avoid so i gave a letter also i told the superintendent to do at least a patchwork i also will have to file a report <laughs> no no my lord i <laughs> my lord i my lord i hope my lord some funds came in for the e sub my lord uh, uh you know e-courts my lord e-courts uh, yes some funds i my lord yes thanks <laughs> my lord I... some funds of <laughs> yes